Hello? 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 Is this thing on? I don't know. It's been 84 years since I've streamed anything on YouTube. Hi. <laughs> I don't know how to do this anymore. I don't know how to be. I don't know who I am. Welcome, anybody who's here. Good to see you. Well, it would help if I didn't make the fucking... <laughs> I'm so bad at this! Hi, if you're watching now. I realized I had the... The stream was private. So people couldn't watch. I'm a professional video gamer, okay? I'm a professional YouTuber. Leave me alone. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I turned it on and I was talking to myself and then realized that no one could see me because it was uh, it's kind of private for everybody. But hi. Hello. Welcome to my sweet, sexy jazz club. It's me, your dad. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. I do smell. It's been a long time since I've showered or felt the touch of warm, soapy water. Yes, the di this did just uh, this did just start. Can't speak anymore. Welcome, everybody, to the Jacksepticeye Guy Stream Variety Hour, where I have no idea what I'm actually going to end up doing. Um. Well, first things first, I wanted to talk a little bit more about cloak stuff, <clears throat> which is something that I'm I'm big into, and I really want to talk more about it and open up, and because I haven't done anything, I've been on tour this entire time when the cloak stuff has come out, and I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and chat and talk about it. But also, I just want to sit down and chat with everybody in general, because, let's face it, it's been a hot minute, or several, and I've been away a lot, and I haven't streamed in a very long time, so... It's good to be back. It's good to be back in a rhythm. Ugh! It's good to be back with no voice. Uh, let me just do a tweeteroo and get the word out there for everybody. I never know what to say. What do I say? How do I tweet? Unless I'm talking about squirrels and no nut November. I don't know what I'm talking about. Come hang out and have chill fun time. That sounds good. It's Pornhub channel. <laughs> That's me. I'm the Pornhub of YouTube. <clears throat> Can I get free cloak gear? <sighs> Make me an offer I can't refuse, okay? If you do my laundry for a week, maybe. Think about it. If you do all my cloak laundry, do four backflips. I can't even do one backflip. I can do one attempted backflip, fall over and break my neck and die. That'll be fun. <clears throat> Come on, Stream Deck. Kick into high gear, please. How did we get here? Well, you know what? Now we're, we've all found out how we got here. The show is over. The tour is done. We've all spent 90 minutes each night figuring out how exactly we got here. On the Jack Sipe, the guy, how did we get here? Live show comedy world tour. <clears throat> well, thanks to everybody who showed up to that. Um, it's kind of sad that it's over now because I, I can't do that show anymore. I guess I could talk about that for a while as well today. Because I haven't had a chance to sit down and talk about that either because... I didn't want to. I didn't want to, like, talk about it before the show was actually finished or the tour was done or anything like that, so... Now that the tour and the show and everything is done, we can actually open up about it and say what it was and how it was and everything. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Why aren't the Super Chats showing up at the top? They're showing up here. Star-Lord plays! <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. We'll said, will you be my dad? Star Lord plays. I'm already your dad. Now go to your room. 
David the Penguin. Can I has a big penguin hug? I know what that is. Do you just put your arms out like that and waddle in? Then if so, yeah, of course. Will you play SCP Containment Breach? Um, maybe someday. I remember trying to play it years and years ago, and it just kept crashing my computer, so I gave up on it. But there's a lot on it now. How much is Cloak? Um, well, you can see for yourself if you go to the link at the top of the description. You can go to cloakbrand.com and figure it out. But stuff, it, it ranges in prices for the different, um... Like the different variety of clothes that are available. So the shirts are from like $35 and then the hoodies can range up to $85. Um, the regular hoodies are $80. Like the one I'm wearing is $80. And then the, the zip one is $85, I believe. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, there come the things. Um, all right. Uh, I'm not able to keep up. Uh, Vidang Thakur. I butchered that name. You are my inspiration, mate. Love from India. Thanks, man. Uh, very sarcasmic ADHD. What's your opinion on H3H3? H3? They're fun. I was on their podcast. I had a great time. Nice people. Daniel Oceana. Oceania. Thank you for the $10. And purplery. As well for the ten dollars. Hey Jack, I've always wanted to meet you and just say thank you for everything you've done for me and all of us septic guys. Also, I am a mountain biker and can't stop screaming speed is key on trails. <laughs> That's fucking great. I could just imagine you flaking it down a hill, just saying speed is key! And having everyone in a 50 mile radius look over and be like, the fuck? Um, but thank you very much. That's very, very sweet of you to say. Sayid. Saida Woods, thank you for the five dollars. The tour was amazing and I'm very proud of you. Thank you very, very much. I'm proud of me too. I'm proud of that tour. I'm proud of the show. I'm proud of everything that came out of that. And thanks for showing up and being part of it. Um, so yeah, I might get into some games after I thought about... I mean, maybe just playing some Fortnite again just to... I don't know. Get back to our old memes. I miss them. Um, but also maybe play some, like, Jackbox games or something just so we can all kind of hang out and play something together. Droy Derek York. Thank you for the two pounds. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I love yours and Mark's brand. Thanks, man. Uh, Caitlin. Thank you for the ten. Hey, Jack. I hope you're having a great day. We love you. I love you guys, too. You guys are so sweet. I miss hanging out with everybody. Uh, Red Roadie, thank you for the 10. Good to see you streaming. You've accomplished so many incredible things this year. I couldn't list everything. Much love from Leslie, Red Roadie. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, it's been a it's been a crazy year. It's been a lot of change and a lot of new stuff and a lot of crazy things happening and a lot of a lot of personal growth, a lot of personal change as well. And I'm very very happy with where I am now and how things are going. So thank you very much. Jasmine Sky, thank you. Alexandria Red, thank you for the $20, Jesus. Love you so much, we'll always treasure meeting you at the Dallas show. With a bonus Aaron, I had no idea was there. Yeah, Aaron showed up for uh, a few of those shows. He went home soon after that, because it was just a case of being there <clears throat> to see like the start of the actual tour. Because that was after all the... That was after all the practice shows and everything had been done. There's so many people! There sure are! Will you ever go back to Happy Wheels? For- for videos, I won't. Um... I think for videos, Happy Wheels is gonna be done. But... If- again, if you came to the- the live show... We- we played Happy Wheels during the live show. As like, the last game we played on stage. So it was really fun to kind of have it be like a... I don't know, a reminiscent thing of what Happy Wheels was on the channel and everything, so. It wasn't gone forever. It came back a little bit. I'm loving my cloak hoodie. Thank you so much, cloak team. Thank you, Max. I'm really glad you like it. I am literally wearing one right now. 
and I have been for a couple of days because Again, it's something that I just really like and something that I wanted to wear Because it's super comfortable <laughs> And we all know I don't wash my clothes so Ask you anything? Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll make this an AMA Ask me whatever you want. I don't have to answer everything, but you can ask me whatever you want. Oh, Hall Septic Eye, thank you very much. Just to let you know, the Dancing Fuckfaces group chat misses you so much. I'm glad you've seen our pics from Manchester. Proud of you. Thank you. And thank you for coming to all the shows as well. It was crazy. You and Stacy showing up to all of those, so thank you guys. And I hope you're doing better. I know you you had to dip out for a little bit. But still, the fact that you showed up to so many of them is incredible. So thank you very much. Jelena Jurassic. I dare you to pronounce my name right. Well, I just tried, so we'll see if that actually worked. <laughs> Probably not. Um, will there be expensive shipping? Yeah, so Because trying to start up something like this and trying to get a new brand out there and trying to get all of these facets in place and trying to make it well But also make it like reasonable and everything and also make it in a certain place different things like that It costs a lot more for shipping for certain other people um, Like outside of the US and especially here in Europe shipping can be quite high, but we're, we're taking on all that feedback and we're really trying to like figure out the best way forward and figure out the best way of making it more affordable for everybody. It's just right out the gate, things need to be a certain way so we can get some like, we can get some growth going with it. And then after a while we can start changing stuff around and mixing things up, so. It's not going to be the way it is now, forever, so keep an eye out for new stuff like that. And as well, any, any ideas, like we've, we've been taking on so much feedback for Cloak from so many different people and People have had feedback ranging in all different categories and all different varieties and it's been great because feedback is how you grow something, it's how you evolve something and it's how you actually make it better for the people because the, again the reason we made this is to try and make something cool for people to be able to buy and stuff that we're proud of and stuff that I actually want to wear and everything so all this feedback is really good for us. Um, so any of the stuff that you guys want like designs, if you have any ideas on like new I don't know, new cuts of shirts, new types of clothing, different things like that. Like, you can let us know. We do have an email and you can just comment on any of the Instagram posts on on the Cloak Brand Instagram account as well. So we're, we're listening to people and we're trying to take it on board and make as good stuff as we possibly can. And we've already gotten, like, the beanies were one thing that people said to us and we took on board. And then we started making those and people have come up with, like, the idea of making, like, a, a, a pride flag coloured, like a rainbow coloured uh, cloak logo and things like that and th these are all fantastic we love this we love listening to people's feedback and love trying to grow the brand and grow the clothing company and make it something that's actually cool for people and stuff that you actually want and not just stuff that we think you want so keep it coming Hannah thank you for the five pound I've never done this before just wanted to say it was really nice to see you on tour the show is awesome I loved it I'm glad you liked it and thanks for coming to that one, and also coming to Ready Player 3 the year before that, so... You got two di very different types of shows, so I'm glad you like them. Oh, Jesse. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you guys at PAX, I'll see you there. That'll be fun. Amanda. Thank you for the $20. Did you get and read your messages on Tumblr or Instagram? I've been wondering that for a while now. Also, you're not feeling lonely, are you, Jack? Not that you're back home. I'm here if you need me. That's very sweet. Um, I mean, when I got back home initially from tour, it was very, very rough. And, like, because every time you come off a tour or come off a convention or something, that, like, post-tour blues or post-con depression kind of thing hits you fairly hard. And this time it hit me like a fucking train. Um, and I was struggling a lot with it because I had been in L.A. for three months. And then I came back and I was here for, like, a week kind of and then I was prepping stuff for tour and then I went on tour for three weeks and now I'm back here and I'm actually like alone for the first time in a really long time and just sitting back and 
I don't know, trying to get used to myself again. Trying to get used to, like, using up my spare time. Because when you're on tour, it's just go, go, go. And being in LA, there was, like, a lot of friends to hang out with and everything. So being back here alone, with nobody else around, was kind of scary at first. And I didn't really know what to do with my spare time. And I was kind of sitting down and getting all anxious and didn't really know what to do. Um, and I do have friends that I, I text and message and call and everything that have been a huge help to me. Um, and have really, like, settled my head and made me feel a lot calmer. So, that was good. Um, I mean, it's very sweet of you to worry about me. But again, I'm a grown-ass man. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I know my limits and I know that I can reach out to people if I need to. I'm very lucky with my friend group. I'm very lucky to know some of the people I do who are very willing to listen. Uh, Matt, thank you for the five. Have you been playing any indie games recently? Have you tried Hollow Knight? I have tried Hollow Knight. I played it on Twitch a while back. And I have it on my Switch and I played it for a while there. And I love it. Hollow Knight's a fantastic game. And what shenanigans did you get up to with the Super Mega Boys? Well, I was on their podcast, which was fun. And being at that office a lot when I was in LA was fun. And I, um, I got to talk to them a lot and hang out with them a lot. And then I went to one of their drunk drawing live shows. And that was super, super fun. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. <laughs> Wilderness girls. <laughs> um, thank you. That's very, very sweet of you. <laughs> uh, the chemist. Thank you for the ten dollars. Spyro Three was the first Let's Play I watched all the way through from you. So I'm happy you're playing the Reignited trilogy. Will you play all the games? Maybe not on the channel, but on a stream. Yeah. So I finished. Um, Spyro 1 today, I recorded the last episode of it, so I think there's like five or six episodes in it? Six. Um, and then that'll be done. And for Spyro 2, Spyro 2 I'm not huge into because I can't remember anything from it. Um, I've heard that it's really good still, but Spyro 3 I definitely want to play. I was actually thinking about playing it for this stream as well, but I don't know. I, I, I feel kind of weird jumping straight into that without having finished Spyro 1 still on the channel, so... I'll see. I'll get to them. Do I'm sorry if I don't get to all the messages and all the chats and everything, by the way. It's very, very hard to keep up. And I'm trying to be fair and not just message people who are on, like, super chats and everything. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Susan. It's good to see you, too. I did tweet, didn't I? Yeah. Um, hey, Hoodie Panda. Thanks for uh, joining the channel. Thanks for coming, becoming a member, dog. What the fuck do we say on YouTube these days? Thanks for becoming a... Paid subscriber member joiner. <laughs> are we are we settling on memberships? Is that what we're doing YouTube? Is are we going to call it that forever? Are we good? Have you gone through your teen years? Have you made up your mind? Uh, <laughs> but thanks, man. <laughs> Sadie, um, sorry you can't send a lot. Don't ever apologize for not sending enough. The fact that you sent anything is very very sweet. I wanted to send something though. Also, have I have fan art I wanted to send you, but I don't know where to send it. I usually see stuff if it's on Tumblr or Twitter or whatever. Kind of different places. Um, again, I can't get to all of them, but thank you very much. Um, Kira, thank you for becoming a member as well. Chris, thank you. I just want to say you've been what's keep kept me alive. My father died in a car crash in 2014, and I found you not long after. It was your Skate 3 vids. Thank you for saving my life. Chris, you don't need to give me all of that praise. It's very, very sweet, and thank you so much. Um, but, I mean, <laughs> there's only so much I can do through a screen talking to people, but the, you've, you have a lot more power in your own hands and a lot more um, a lot more confidence, a lot more strength than you're giving yourself credit for. So you, you, should, be, you should be thanking yourself for keeping yourself here. Um, but I'm so sorry to hear about your dad. But I'm glad you're here and you're hanging out and you're interacting and you're hopefully you're having fun with everybody. 
Good lord. You guys are way too generous. Thank you. It's so sweet. Um, Ashley. Hi, Sean. My name is Ashley Burrell Perkins. My husband is starting to get into your videos thanks to me. You are a boss. Oh, no. Husband, get out. Get out now. It's a fucking downward slope from here. Once you're in, you never get out. But thank you very much. And Jenny Brewer, thank you for uh, becoming a member as well. God, I have never used this Super Chat membership shit before, so I don't know what I'm doing. Cloak Socks? The Parasite? That's a great idea. We have heard a lot about cloaks. The one thing we've heard a lot from people is cloak cloaks. Who would have thought? Um, so, I mean, maybe at some point. I mean, we can basically make anything. So, if enough people want these things, then yeah, of course. Um, they'd be fun to do. And a cloak cloak would be fun to do for like a specialized event or something like that. I don't know. Why, why, have, why not have fun with it? Because that's the thing with all these clothing brands. Because I know everything about this is like... We're trying to make something like really, really high quality and really good. And get into a marketplace where not many YouTubers have tried to get into. And like compete with Nike and Under Armour and all those types of things. But at the same time... A lot of those companies take themselves a bit too seriously. So, like, you can do that thing, but you can also have fun with it. So, yeah, why not? Like, we can make some some novelty shit every now and then and just have fun with it. I mean, clearly it's what you guys want. Clearly it's what you guys like. You're here to have fun. You're here to just interact and go with it. So, why not? We'll see what happens. Again, just keep, keep suggestions coming to us and we'll listen to them. That's also one of the, the good sides of... Making your own clothing brand instead of joining up with somebody else's is because now we can just kind of do whatever we want. Would this be uploaded? Yeah, Rebecca, this is probably just going to go as a, an archive after this. I want sleeveless cloak shirts. Ooh. That's a good idea. Sleeve sleeveless shirts and um, tank tops, I think, are something that I personally want. And also then... Um, I think we're going to be making sweatpants at some point as well. Um, and everything as well is not just going to stick to like black and grey all the time either. I know that that was a main concern for people too. I think one of the reasons we did that um, initially was because like minimalistic clothing and minimalistic colours and everything just look nice on every occasion. Um, and me personally, this is the stuff that I like most. I, I'm not really into like bright flashy colors right now So to get stuff off the ground and to get stuff started and everything I think is good to start out with a bit more of a minimalistic approach stuff. That's sleeker stuff. That's um, Stuff that's a little more broad and a lot of a lot more people tend to like and then we've again We've been getting a lot of suggestions from people to make more colorful things, which we are all about We will definitely be making more, more colorful items as time goes on Ooh, uh, G.I. Jonah, I really appreciate it, but, um, oh, uh, I'm going to remove this message. Thank you very, very much. You recommend Fallout 76? I, I, I'm thinking about getting to it. Um, I'm going to try and remove this message, though, because there is some personal information in that that I do not want people to see. So, please, <laughs> be careful out there online, for the love of God. How about cloak beards? Yeah, maybe then I'll buy one and I'll finally be able to grow one. Is that your joke? Is that what you're getting at? Um, I don't know what a cloak beard would look like. <laughs> oh, Roshin. Don't feel sorry for not donating. Jeez. Are you still alive? I... Yep. I think so. If not, then there's a something in my arm. Ooh. Random Kuhai. Could we get a zip-up jacket that has a larger cloak brand on it, like with the spy hoodies? Um... I mean, yeah. <laughs> um... Absolutely. We, we can definitely look into doing that. I want to, me personally, I also want to try and make like an actual like proper full-on jacket. 
Because I bought a jacket in Amsterdam recently that has, it looks like something Jon Snow would wear in, um, in Game of Thrones. And it's like a big woolly thing. So we could make something like that or a petticoat or things like that. I don't know, fun shit. You're going to play Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Lol, hella money. Um, I've been playing some of it in my spare time. I haven't gotten that far because I just wanted to get past the intro because I heard that that was really long. And I didn't intend on doing like a long let's play of it. Ever. It was never in my head to do it because I knew the game was going to be like 60 hours long to do it any sort of justice. So I kind of went against that. God of War is probably the longest, like, the longest story driven let's play that I'm going to do because that was like 20 hours. Um... But I've been playing it kind of in my spare time, and I've been doing some missions just to get started so I have some weapons on my horse and I can actually go explore. So I might actually start playing it just for streams in general, so we can just dick around and whatever. I might, I might stream it on Twitch, maybe a little, maybe here on YouTube. I don't know, I like the idea of streaming it on Twitch and then cutting out the best bits and putting it up on YouTube. Toxic fandoms suck. Crispy fries, I agree. Luckily, this is not one of them. This has been a very nice community for the entire time I've been doing YouTube. Um, people have been so generous and so nice and so kind to each other, so thank you for that. I know stuff has kind of gone off the rails a little bit here and there, and some of the connection kind of wanes a little bit, and I've been away a lot this year for traveling and tour and stuff, but I'm... Tour is done. Next year, I'm hoping to get way more focused back in on the channel. Going to take it a little easier going into the end of this year. Take some time off, really just like close out the year on a positive note and make sure I'm in the right headspace. And I did say I was going to take more time for myself, um, which I'm doing. And I'm, I'm very, very happy in doing that. So going into next year, then I'm going to work very, very hard on the channel again. And I'm going to go back to L.A. for a while and really hunker down and make a lot of cool stuff with a lot of cool people. So it's going to be fun. How am I doing my drum set? Uh, not as good as I'd like to be. I haven't had a chance to sit down and play it for a while, but more drum covers will come next year. Um, I really want to get back into doing that. I have a lot of travel stuff that I'm doing again for the end of the year, but it's more kind of personal stuff. Um, and I'm going back to LA soon. Um, in like two weeks. For a little bit, because I'm going to the VGAs, the Video Game Awards. I've been asked to go like... The last three years, including this year, and I've had to turn it down every time because other stuff has been going on. But now I'm like, you know what? Why not? Let's let's go do fun stuff. Gina, could you add pastel colors, also fanny packs and badges? So pastel colors is something that we've talked about as well. So yes, just colors in general. Um, and fanny packs and badges. Badges will probably come. Badges and pins and stuff, I think, are just... Everyone loves that stuff. I love that stuff. Even I want a cloak pin. Um, so that, that type of stuff will most likely definitely come. Um, fanny packs? I mean, again, we're open to suggestions, so keep it coming. Sarah! Hi, this is Stay Home Godwin. Oh, hey! How's it going? I'm so excited I got a notification. My cloak order is on the way. I can't wait to get it. I'm very happy to hear that, and I'm so glad people have been enjoying them when they've gotten them. And I've seen a lot of pictures of people wearing them, and it looks fantastic. Gold City, are you a fake? No. <laughs> being, being fake takes way too much energy. <laughs> uh, Ghost Angel, my name is Abby. Want to say thank you. I have been clean from self-harm for a year. I'm so happy I found your channel. I'm so happy too. And that's great. That's fantastic. Good for you. I'm, I'm very happy for you. Keep it up. Um... I just would like a regular zip-up for work since I have to run pizzas out for work. Okay. Duly noted. Um, people behind the scenes as well and people behind the team and everything are likely watching a lot of this, so... All these suggestions are great. Still haven't seen you in Brighton. Well, the life of a YouTuber, you don't get out much. <laughs> Hopefully someday. If you see me out and about, um, feel free to come over. <laughs> Morkel, I'm going to do a photo shoot when my cloak stuff gets here. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Have I heard of a f uh, of a con called RTX? I have. I just... I've never really had a, a need to really go to it. Trixel, since when do you know pewds? 
Um, I mean, I've known about him, obviously, for a lot longer than he's known about me, because he's been doing YouTube longer and he's been more popular. Um, so a lot more people know about him for a longer period of time. So I knew him through that, and then, obviously, the shout-out competition and everything that happened. Um, he initially found out who I was that way, but then afterwards we just kind of... We, we ran in some of the same friend groups, and then we got together for a collab. And then the rest is kind of history, and we, we became close friends that way. Am I going to play Days Gone when it comes out? Um... Hopefully, Decidueye. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look amazing, but it looks like it would be a fun type of game to make videos on. I think I could have a lot of a lot of crack with that. Um, Dark Dragon Warrior, thank you for the $10. A bit off topic. I mean, nothing's off topic. You can ask whatever the hell you want. <laughs> um, do you have any advice for beginner YouTubers? I would also like to thank you for brightening both my and my boyfriend's lives with your channel. I would donate more if I could. Seriously, stop apologizing for not donating more or enough or anything like that. It's it's more than enough. Thank you. Um, but advice for beginner YouTubers, just, it's the same as always. It's generic advice, which is just do it. Just do it and have fun with it. That's all you're going to need. Um, stuff might fall into place, stuff might not. But if you're having fun doing it and you're being consistent with it and it's something you enjoy, then none of that stuff really matters. It doesn't have to work out. It doesn't have to turn into a job. That, that's putting a lot of pressure on yourself to make it, like, to be a YouTuber kind of thing. If it does, then fantastic. If you're doing it for fun and you're having a great time and you're doing something different or you're doing something that you're just enjoying, then anything that comes out of that is just going to be a bonus. If anybody shows up to watch it, it's going to be fun. And if it does end up going any further than that, then amazing. That's, that's incredible. And it's something that I've gotten very lucky with, so I, I know exactly how that feels, so that would be incredible, but... I mean, if it also doesn't work out, then you're just back where you are, which is already having fun and doing a, a cool thing, so... Just go out there and do it. Not sure if it was suggested, but any plans for cloak sweatpants slash leggings? Um, yeah, actually, I think I have a, a message from one of the dudes. Uh, yeah, we're working on sweats and leggings. Um, they're literally the two things that we're working on, he said, so... Um, sw sweatpants and leggings are two things that we're definitely working on next, so th those are definitely going to come, so look out for those. Before you come to LA, bring a face mask, please. Yeah, I, it's pretty bad over there right now. So, wishing everybody well who's caught up in those fires. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe as much as they possibly can. Ah, oh, Hannah, see you at, see you at PAX. Um, Annie, are you going to continue Sally Face? Greetings from Finland and thanks for existing. Well, thank my parents for that. Um, but yes, I'm going to continue Sally Face. Episode 4 comes out at the end of the month. When I'm back, uh, I'm going on a little trip again soon, um, in a couple of days, so I won't be at home. But after that, when episode 4 is coming out, I'm going to do episode 3 and 4 back to back. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to it. Ah, oh, Stacy, thank you. I'm glad you had a good time. They see us waving after the show by the bus in Manchester. I did. Sadly, I can't come out every time and meet everybody, as you've seen, because you were at every single show. Um, but it was very, very sweet, and I had a great time, so thank you. And thanks for coming to every show. That's fucking nuts. Do you think that your work, both with charities and as a Let's Player, makes a difference, and if so, how? By the way, I really like your playthroughs. Thank you. Um, yes, I do. I do think they make a difference. They might not make any sort of, like... Like, the world isn't going to be a different place because of the stuff I do in my Let's Plays. But if I can change somebody else's day, if I can make somebody happy, if I can make somebody smile that day when nothing else could, if I can just distract you for 20 minutes a day, if I can be the thing that pulls you out of a downward spiral, then I've already made a difference to somebody. I don't need to change the world as a whole as long as I can change a little sliver of it in the way that I think is best. And I think the work that we've done, not that I've done, the work that we've done um, for charity so far this year is nothing short of fucking incredible. And I think that's definitely made a difference. There's no way that that hasn't made a difference. We've, we've raised over $864,000 for different charities in this year alone. 
and I, I haven't even gotten to the last couple of charity live streams just because I've been so busy with a lot of stuff. So hopefully I can get one in before the end of December and we're going to be doing another big one for, or the end of November, but we're doing a big one for December as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that also might be one of the reasons I'm going back to LA. Um, so before the end of the year, we are going to have raised a million dollars for charity. Like another charity live stream would, pu would push us over that. We only, we need less than $140,000. And the last time we did one, we raised a hundred K in three hours. So there's no way that that doesn't make a difference. And I'm very, very proud of it. It's one of the most proud, it's, it's, it's one of the things I'm most proud of having done YouTube over the years. Having a channel and a community and gaining lots of subscribers and views and everything. That's incredible and I'm very proud of that. But the charity stuff is something that will kind of stick with me for a very, very long time. And stick with a lot of people. God, these fucking super chats are weird. Drake Day. The best advice I believe I've been given for YouTube is that Google is your best friend. Anything you want to know about anything can be found there. At the world at your fingertips. Would you agree? I would. And this is the thing. When I was starting off doing YouTube, I, I absolutely still remember what it was like to start off doing YouTube and messaging the YouTubers and looking on Reddit and looking on Google and looking on YouTube and trying to figure out the answer on how you become a YouTuber. And... The answer was that there is no formula. There is no secret. There's no magic upload button that gets you a lot of views. There's no secret way of doing it that gets you a lot of subscribers. Or something something that gets you out there more. There's no secret formula for anything like that. It just is what it is. Everything you want to know about how to become a YouTuber, you likely know already because you've probably Googled it before you came to me. So, yeah. It's just a hard thing to do. So a lot of people think that there's some secret way of doing it. Would you consider doing shirts slash jackets with awareness ribbons? I just celebrated my 12 year anniversary of type 1 diabetes and would love something like that for people with health issues. That's a fantastic idea, Catherine. I absolutely love that. I mean, you know me, charity work is very near and dear to my heart. So the more I can integrate what I'm doing professionally and personally into a charity aspect, the better. Because it marries a whole bunch of loves in my life together. Um, and I would love to do that. I want to do more stuff with, with Cloak like that. I mean, we all do. It's one of the things that we set out in our, like, mission statement to each other when we sat down to talk about how to do Cloak, was that we wanted to make some sort of impact with it, um, for good in some way as well. So, we will, we will definitely be looking into more of that. Nugget Gaming, thank you for the $50, holy fuck. What do you think of My Hero Academia? I love it. It's super fun. I can't wait for the next season. I think season three and stuff kind of trailed a small bit. I mean, I love seeing the characters interact and do school stuff and everything, but it's it's a very, like, stereotypical, like, shonen type of anime because it's it's a lot of exposition. It's a lot of flashbacks. It's a lot of repeating stuff that's already happened, like Dragon Ball style. And that shit gets a little annoying. I don't I don't have time for that in my life anymore. But I still watch it, and I still love it. Um, but I think it's fantastic. It's one of the better animes that's come out in recent years. Melinda, what do you think has been your favorite series so far this year? Um, it's a toss-up between God of War and uh, Detroit Become Human. I loved Spider-Man. I just think... <sighs> I don't know. As, as good as a game as that was, I feel like it was just very straightforward. It was very just like series. Whereas God of War and Detroit had a lot of like inside jokes and a lot of like... They went on a bit longer. Well, I guess they didn't. But I don't know. I just got way more involved in them, I think. Um, and both of them surprised me. Spider-Man I knew was going to be good. And I had really high expectations for. So... God of War definitely surprised me. God of War is my game of the year. God of War is my favorite game this year. You had a dream about Spyro? <laughs> That's fun. I meant to tweet out earlier as well that I was going to be streaming and I kind of forgot. 
<laughs> I've, had a, I've had a very lazy day, which I loved, but I, I didn't get up to a whole lot. I mean, I recorded, I guess, so I did work. I just, I don't know, I always feel like I could be doing more. Again, YouTuber life. Dan DB, your fans are great. The reason your fans are great is because you're enforcing goodness. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, I mean, I agree. I, I always think that you get out of what you put into it. So, I think people who complain about their audiences just not being nice or kind of shitting on them all the time is because you're not, you're not setting boundaries. You're not interacting. You're not, you're not enforcing any sort of like positivity in the community. You're not nurturing. You're not listening. And I think if you listen to people and you interact with them and you let them know that you're there and make yourself feel equal to everybody and everyone's just there to have a good time, then yeah, people will people will calm down and they'll they'll just have fun. Um, will there be cloak, gloves, hats, or undies? Um, gloves and hats, yeah, probably. Gloves, I'm not sure about. I, we we haven't even talked about gloves, but that's not a bad idea. Um, hats, yeah, there's probably going to be a bunch of different hat designs. Snapbacks, baseballs, um, not actual base, cloak baseballs. We're going to the, the, we're going to the fucking, the baseball leagues, everybody. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Um, undies? Yeah, that, that's a great idea. I like the idea of doing undies. Like, really good, high-quality underwear, I think, is something people haven't done a lot of. I mean, this type of stuff is just something people haven't done a lot of anyway. Like, this type of material and this type of quality and everything. And now that people are actually getting it in their hands and they know what it feels like. Like, we're not trying to bullshit you. We're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes and make a quick book or anything like that. We're actually trying to make something high quality and something that's good and something that we actually want to wear, so... It takes a lot, of, a lot of effort to make that happen. And a lot of convincing, because again... Most YouTubers haven't tried to like get into that edge of the marketplace. It's been a lot of like, here's my merch. You need to be on this channel to get it, kind of thing. So we want we wanted to go a little step further. Well, just to see if we could do it as well. Nasher, thank you for the hundred pound. Holy crap! Hey Jack, I absolutely love the London performance of How Did We Get Here Live Show Comedy World Tour by Jack Septicai. And if you were to do another stage show tour, would you consider coming to other places like Southampton, etc.? Even though I enjoyed the 75 minute journey to see the London show, keep the boss-tastic work. Um, it's, it's a bit of a hard sell because we're on such a tight time frame. We're trying to get to as many mass populated places as we can to try and hit as many audience members as we can. Just for the fact of like not everybody can come to these shows, so we're trying to hit hit like population dense centers. So it's like okay, if we go here, then we have a bigger chance of sharing this with more audience. Whereas if I go to somewhere like Southampton, it's a little harder to do that because I, I don't know, it's just not in the locations that people tend to travel to for these types of things. So and because we're traveling in a very specific route, so the last one we did, we went from like we went from France to or. Yeah, France to, or Netherlands to France, to Germany, to Norway, Sweden, Denmark, London, Manchester, Scotland, Ireland, like all these different places. So there's a definite like arc to some of these places too. So there's a lot that goes into it other than just, hey, let's go here. We could do that, but it just kind of fucks up everything else then. Neo James, Jack, what about cloak chest binders for the trans people? Now, there's an interesting topic to talk about because, again, this type of representation is not normally done either. And I don't know whether we can or we will or anything like that, but I definitely love the fact that you asked that because this is something that people normally shy away from too, is asking about these types of things. And we, we did want to show more representation. One of the things that I specifically said personally was that I wanted to show more representation for people of all different um, races, ethnicities, genders, gender identities, um, th different things like that because that stuff is very, very important and I've talked to so many people over the years of doing YouTube to know that, to empathize with this side of life because I'm not a trans person, I'm not a gay person, I don't know the day-to-day -day struggles of what it is to 
be in that um, be in that side of society. So, talking to people like you, Neo James, and talking to people in the community all the time really opened up my eyes over the years about these types of um, about these types of topics and about these types of um, issues and stuff that people go through. So, I, I like that people speak up and I like that people talk about it, and I like that we can actually consider doing it. Um, because again, we wanted to like. We didn't want to just make clothes and then just have a bunch of models showing it off, like a bunch of people who have worked out for 12 years and are super ripped and everything. So we wanted to show, like, different facets of life. An actual, normal facets of life. Like, these types of things are things that everyday people go through. So, it's important to us. So, yeah. That, that'll be a pe big piece of feedback that I give back to the team, too. So, thank you. Uh, I keep forgetting to let the music roll. Future Potato. What's your favorite movie? By the way, I was going through a hard time and then saw your channel and pushed myself to be as happy as you. So thank you. That's incredibly sweet. Thank you so much. Um, my favorite movie um, is Hot Fuzz. And sometimes when I tell people that, they're like, wait, really? Hot Fuzz? Out of all the movies? Hot Fuzz is one of the best written, directed, shot, and edited movies I have ever seen in my entire life. <coughs> it's absolutely incredible. Adarsh Mohan, are you preparing a documentary on your tour? I am. Uh, we've recorded a lot of stuff since the start of the year. Actually, since as far back as, like, last year when we did the practice shows... We've been recording footage of it. We've been recording stuff from the very, very inception of the entire tour. Because, again, if you're at the show, you know what it's about. But if you weren't, the show is basically a story of my life. So we go through, it's called How Did We Get Here? Because the idea is that we are here on a stage talking to thousands of people. And it's like, how did we get here? Like, how did any of this stuff happen? How, how did I get this lucky, basically? Um... So, I, like, the show being a journey through my life and showing, like, where I came from is nothing special and where, like, what I did as a kid was nothing special and where I went to school was nothing special. What I studied was nothing special. But that doesn't mean you can't get up on stage and do great things. You can't get up and do really cool shit. You just have to work hard for it and take all the opportunities that come your way and really make the most out of your life. And the idea of recording a documentary for that really meant a lot because we went back to Ireland then and I... I went back to where I grew up. I went back to where, again, if you're in the show, I went back to Clon, where I, where my childhood was. I went back to Banagher, where I went to secondary school and the birthplace of the, the septic eye came. And I went back to Ballycumber, where the log cabins are. And we just recorded a bunch of stuff there. And we, we talked about some very serious things and very, like, deep emotional stuff and stuff about family and stuff about friends and stuff about what it takes to actually do YouTube and breaking everything down. Because what I wanted to do was pull the veil away. Everyone looks at YouTube and they can see you up on stage and they can look at you and think, wow, that's fucking amazing. How did they do that? I'll never be able to do that. But the reality is, is that you can and you, you should strive for it. Not specifically that, but you should strive for greatness in whatever aspect of your life you want it to be. And I wanted to strip that away and strip away the pedestal, strip away the awe and wonder and admiration and just show like, no, this is me. This is what I am. This is what I did. This is who I am now. There's a lot of misery and pain in my teenage years. There's a lot of hardship that I had to go through to get through that and get to where I am now. And I'm very, very happy where I am now. But all of this stuff does not just happen. It comes with a lot of turmoil. It comes with a lot of struggle. It comes with a lot of grief. And it comes with a lot of good times. So to show that aspect of it, to share that story with people, to show them that the people that you see doing great things have not always been that way and have not always been doing great things and even while they're doing great things they're still going through shit and in my teen years I became depressed um, and in some of my YouTube years I became depressed but it's, it's this type of stuff that we don't normally talk about so I wanted to share that story and I think the documentary is going to shine a lot more light on who I am as a person and it's going to contextualize a lot of the show it's going to show why we put certain things where they are and it's really going to show a whole lot more of who I am and what I do and what it takes to do what we do kind of thing. So I'm very much looking forward to that. It's going to be a while because we have a lot of footage. Um, and it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff as well. So a lot of interviews with people 
family, friends, people I haven't seen in like 10, 12 years. So we want to make sure that what we're making is actually done right. Priscilla, I'm so unbelievably proud of how far you've come. You deserve to be happy and I'm glad you're taking that time to yourself now. Thank you very much. And I know a lot of people in a lot of different areas on social media and everything have talked about like me changing. And that, that's a thing that people talk about on YouTube and with YouTubers in general. Um, but yeah, I, I have. I have changed. I've changed a lot just in this year alone. I've calmed down a lot. I'm not the boisterous, loud, obnoxious, like, really energetic version of myself that I once was because I feel like I don't need to be that all the time anymore. I don't feel like I have to constantly keep proving myself. I feel like the channel has done so well at this point that I can actually just, like, settle into it and enjoy it and relax and have fun with everybody. And not just keep on that treadmill of trying to go viral and stay relevant and get a billion views and all that kind of stuff. Like, the channel's done well. We can sit back and we can enjoy it and people are still coming in and... It's just fun. Why not Why not keep it fun? You know? And just taking more time for myself so I can come back at it harder than ever and not obsess over it and not get anxious when I'm not doing it and just... Enjoy my life. <laughs> And have time for family and friends as well, who I've neglected a lot over the years of YouTube. Uh, let's go, boy! Thank you for the $50. Have you ever thought of making shoes? By the way, I recently have gone back to therapy and your videos are, keep making me happy. Keep up the good work. First of all, that's incredible. I'm really glad that you're going back to therapy. Every Everybody should seek out therapy if they can, if they can afford it. Um, in any way at all. Even, like... Just help with friends and stuff, because it's great. It's great to clear your mind. It's great to get thoughts out there. And if you find the right people who are willing to listen, then even better. Um, shoes? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? Shoes would be great. I like shoes. I like trendy, sporty shoes. So I think that those would fit in very well for, um, for cloak stuff. Do, 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 do. Are your nips hard? O only always. And it's getting winter, so it's cold all the time, so even more so. Can you do the Greg voice, Jack? I sure can! Oh! I have cups on my head! What do you think of the transgender debate? I mean, what debate is there? Really? <laughs> no, I mean, not to sound cliche or anything, but transgender people are people too. What's what's there to debate? Cloak is too expensive. Will you do any deals? Yeah. So, thank you, Unrivaled. Um, yeah, so this is a big piece of feedback that people have been giving us as well about the pricing and everything. We get it. We, we know um, that this is outside the price range for a lot of people. Um, this, this is the type of price range that it needs to be for now, for what we're trying to do. Um, but absolutely, there will be deals, there will be sales, there will be packaged bundles, there will be, um, new items, cheaper items. Like, this, this stuff is not set in stone. This, this is why we're here, this is why we're, I'm doing a live stream like this as well, is to talk to you guys about it and get some feedback and hear where your heads are at. Because, again, very interactive with my community, and I, I want to listen, I want to, I... I want to do something that's cool. I want to do something I'm proud of. I want to do something that you guys like. And you know that I'm not the type of person to just jump into something. The amount of stuff that I've turned down and the amount of stuff that I've not done because it just doesn't feel right. Because I don't think that you guys will enjoy it or I don't think that it's worthwhile doing or I think that it's selling out or anything. Th this is not one of those things, so... Keep it coming. Um, so, at home science, thank you for the $10 and I basically just answered that question as well. Jasmineville, what are your thoughts on Seattle? I love Seattle. Um, great place. That's where PAX West is. It's one of my favorite cities. It's very walkable. Plus, it's the birthplace of Starbucks, and you know I love me some good dirty beans. Um, Michaela, 
Jack, the first video of yours that I ever saw was Plush, Lost in Teddies. That's a long time ago. I, I made that episode preparing for a convention. Um, and I did not think anybody would watch it, so <laughs> thank you. My best friend watching me had to pause the video repeatedly because my face was turning red from laughing. That's so sweet. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. K's M, thank you for the five. I admire how honest and genuine you are. Thank you for everything you do. How do you stay so positive? PMA. Um, well, thank you. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to be me at the end of the day. I'm just trying to do right by people and do right by myself and have fun with, with things, so... Um, thank you very, very much. People always say that. It's like, how do you stay so humble? How do you stay so... <laughs> how do you stay so humble? Well, you know, it's just because I'm so great. <laughs> um, but again, it's it's doing like the live show and going back and seeing where I grew up and all that kind of stuff and remembering where I came from and what I had. Like, a 18, year, 18 to 20 year old me had fucking nothing. And I was living on benefits, and I was very, very sad, and I just had nothing going on in my life, and I was, I was miserable. So, if I went back and showed that person who I had become now, and then if, if I had shown that I would become an asshole because of all of that type of stuff, then that, that version of me would not like me anymore. So, I want to do things proud. I want to do things well. But thank you very much. Um, Susan Gray, thank you for the two pound. Um, were you at Twitch London? Missed you, love you, and PMA. I was. I didn't tell anyone I was going. Um, I just went and met up with some friends. And it was great. Um, it was just an event for people to go hang out, like mods, uh, partners, affiliates, and viewers. And there was like 3,000 tickets, so you could just go and hang out and have drinks and talk to people. So it was great. I met a bunch of people there. And took a bunch of pictures with people and got to chat with a lot of very nice people, so it was fun. Will you ever consider a Midwestern tour for the US? I'm from Oklahoma and can't really make time to go three states over to a show. Sadly, no. Whatever is done is done. We did, we tried to hit Midwest as best we could and hit places that were like... Hit places that I had an audience in and things like that, like a, a bigger audience and trying to hit again population centers and we went a little outside of the norm for a lot of them. Um, like a lot of people don't really go to Iowa and places like that so we try to hit some places that get neglected every now and then. Um, but we can't go to everybody. I'm sorry. And the show is done now so the How Did We Get Here live show comedy world tour by Jacksepticeye is now over and complete and we won't be doing it again. I'll be doing tours again in a, a different show, but that one is done. Haley, thank you for the $50. I've struggled with depression and variety of other mental illnesses, and you have always helped me so much, Jack. We watch your videos in therapy, and you helped me stop self-harming. On a less serious note, are you going to put your logos on Cloak? No. Um, Mark and I are not putting any of our own stuff on Cloak. Unless it's like a specialized, like, charity event type of, like, one-off piece of material or anything. These are things that we still have to talk about, of course. Um, the thing only just launched, like, a week ago. If we, not even a week ago. Um, so a lot of stuff still to determine. But for Cloak stuff, we're trying to just make it a serious brand on its own. Outside of me or Mark. Um, we do have, like stake in the company and we are like involved in it and we are behind it and we are promoting it but my logo will not appear on cloak merch because again we want it to be something that exists outside of us we want to diversify and expand well thank you very much good question uh miranda hi jack i want to say thank you for everything you're doing for people with mental health issues your channel and videos are some of the reasons I'm still alive today. Are you going to do any more PMA slash mental health stuff? You betcha. Um, and I'm very, very happy the way the channel has gone and we're here advocating for mental health and we're... This channel alone is breaking down a lot of stigmas and opening up a lot of eyes to a lot of different awarenesses and everything, so... 
that that really warms my heart, and I'm glad that the channel is taking that direction. Um, and PMA and mental health stuff, absolutely. I'm I'm not ending PMA stuff after this year. I know I said 2018 would be the year of PMA, and holy fuck, is it ever! And I've really made this my year and kicked some ass this year, but th that does not stop. There, you don't just achieve something and then stop it. You, I'm going to keep pushing that and going to do a lot more PMA stuff moving forward. For sure. And a lot more charity streams and a lot more mental health and other uh, charity events and stuff. So, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, going to take a little breather. I want to get myself a drink. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll hang out and chat a little bit more. And maybe, maybe play a game or two. I don't know. I'm having fun. <laughs> um... So, give me a second. Hopefully this still works. Look at that perfect timing. Got back right as the song was ending. Hot diggity, dog diggity, boom, what you do to me? Uh. That's what you do to me, apparently. Well, we've been streaming for an hour, and I went to get a drink, and normally, if we're streaming on Twitch, somebody shows up and says something, but that can't really happen right now here. So, what we're gonna do is Why is that not playing any sound? Wait, did the song... to drink your ocean mat. We've been here for an hour. Get your fluids. Oh. Listen to ocean mat. Let it fill your soul. Ah, there it is. Okay, Ocean Man. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. There we go. 
<laughs> Ocean man! Maggie the Magpie! Thank you for all you do for me and others, and I love my cloak hoodie. I got so many compliments wearing it. Aww! Thank you! I'm really glad you like it. I'm really glad other people like it. I, I, I actually wore this same hoodie to the Twitch London thing. I have other clean clothes, I swear! But I, I got a lot of compliments from people saying that they really liked it. Like genuinely actually liked it and not just like a suck up kind of like Yeah, good job kind of thing like people genuinely liked it. That that means a lot to me Ah, uh. Cherry flavor How to edit you just gotta look up on YouTube whatever you need to do piece by piece for me, editing is all in the pacing. So if you just get something and you learn how to do cuts first, if you learn how to just split your content into the most well-paced version of itself, that's already a great start. You don't need to do any fancy like twirls and zooms and crashes and spirals or anything like that. You just need to learn pacing. Because joke, jokes and comedy is all timing. And anything interesting is all pace-based. Tatum Wagner. Thank you so much for all you do. You've been such an inspiration to me. And PMA has given me such a better outlook on life. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you for the $15. Will you make cloak eyeglasses? Hmm. I don't know. That's a little harder to do because of prescriptions and everything. What color are your eyes? My eyes are... Big baby blues. Probably doesn't look... Too, probably doesn't look actually like how blue my eyes actually are in real life because of the camera. And white balancing and all that kind of stuff. Do you just live with the Game Grumps now? Yeah, I just took up my, my room here and moved it over there, so... I mean, you've seen me in the power hours. I mean, I was in a power hour just yesterday, so... Yeah, I live there. Plus, legally, I own part of their power hour now as well, as you saw in the great legal battle. You are the best. Show us your tats. I don't know if you want me to show me. You want me to show you my my tatas or my my tats? Because I only have one, which is Bloodborne. I'm getting another one soon, though. I'm getting my Shadow of the Colossus one here. Maybe even. Like, this weekend, it could happen. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty dope. Corey, thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. You're a huge inspiration to me. My question is, how do you deal with anxiety? It consumes me, others, and my HD ADHD. Okay, so, for me, personally, um, something that I've learned over the last year talking to so many of my different friends and everything is that meditation is fucking amazing. And I know if you're like me from a few years ago, meditation sounds like a hokey pokey hippie dippy monk type of thing that you do. Like, oh, you just sit down and you go, oh, but no, that's not what it is. It, um, for me at least, what meditation has helped me do, because I, like, again, when I came back from tour, I was suffering horrible anxiety. Like, I would sit down and all of a sudden... And, like, sometimes when I was in LA as well, I would just sit down and I would get these, like, sudden, huge, like, swells of anxiety in my chest. My chest would feel tight and my breath would get quicker and everything, and I would just be like, Oh, what's happening? I fucking hate this. And, I, you, like, you want it to be gone. But for me, like, sitting down and just taking... Doing, like, like transcendental meditation. Or something like that, where you sit down and you just focus on nothing. Try and get your brain to focus on nothing. You're, like, doing it for 20 minutes a day is, is, um, advised. But, again, I, I have a hard time still doing it. So, I'm, I'm just doing, like, 10 minutes whenever I need it. But, just, like, starting off the day, sitting down, like, closing my eyes and putting on a timer for 10 minutes. And literally trying your best to think about nothing. Trying to think about emptiness. Trying to clear your mind. And just focus on your breathing, in and out, slowly. And whenever you find your mind wandering and thinking about something, um, just, like, bring your mind back to nothing. Like, think about it and go, okay, we're done with that. 
bring it back to nothing. Do not try and be like, oh shit, I should not be thinking about this or anything. It'll, it'll let you be aware of how much your mind is wandering. It'll let you be aware of how much your mind is actually thinking away and how much your brain work it's actually doing and how much, how distracted you actually are. And if you have ADHD, specifically, this is even better because you think about the thought, then you go, oh, okay. And then you just bring it back to nothing. You bring it back to center. Your mind will wander again. Bring it back to center. Try and do that for as much as you can within those 10 to 20 minutes. And then, like, the, the thing that I've been told about it is that it gives your brain a chance to get rid of these thoughts. You, you think about the thing that's making you anxious and then your brain goes, okay, back to center. We've thought about that, let's move on. If your brain goes back to that, it's like, okay, no, we're thinking about it again. Okay, let's just come back. Like, that's okay. We don't need to think about that right now. Let's just come back to center and we'll be good. And after the 10 minutes... You'll be amazed of how great you feel after that. At least for me, my, my heart rate calms down. That, like, butterfly feeling is completely gone. My brain starts to actually focus. It starts to actually think about things that I'm supposed to be doing because it's gone over all those other scenarios. It's gone over all the crazy stuff. I try not to think about it. I try to think about nothing. But, of course, your brain's going to wander. But it's okay to non-judgmentally bring your brain back to zero and not feel bad about yourself, not judge yourself for doing it, not letting it wander, not letting it get into that space, and just parsing those thoughts and getting back to zero. And then after that, your brain can focus and move on. And do that, like, twice a day, three times a day if you needed. Any time like that, it'll just really calm you down. That, that's what's been working for me. That's been phenomenal for me over the last, like, week and a half. Um, so I'm very glad I started to do that. And it's, it's something that I'm going to continually try and do, like, every day. Because it just gets my brain in a much more working order. This music is not being picked up very well, is it? Do, 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 do. Um, hi Jack, my question is, what is one of your favorite things about doing YouTube? Um, my favorite thing about doing YouTube is the community. Um, and it, it always has been. Like, community and people are just something that I'm very heavily involved in. I, I love people in day-to-day -day life as well. I love hanging out with people. I love talking to people. I love figuring out how people's brains work. I love just listening to people. Um, so the community aspect of YouTube has always been a big thing for me because it's, it's fun. It's, it's what YouTube does best is community. And being able to have, like, entertainer and audience connect like this immediately is just incredible. Anemone Emily. It struck me when meeting you at the New Mexico show that you are the same person, or you are the same in person as you are on the screen. Thank you for being the most honest person in my life. Hope you enjoyed some donuts. <laughs> That's very, very sweet. Thank you so much. I'm glad that when you met me, you didn't feel like I was completely different, or I let you down, or anything like that. So thank you very much. Marielle, thank you for the five dollars, and it was great meeting you in, um, Amsterdam. Hey dude, thank you for everything you do, and for being such a kind, caring, and overall cool dude. Looking forward to the charity streams, you a good bean. <laughs> thank you, Marielle. I hope you're doing better as well. Music lover. Hi, Jack. My name's Mason. I'm a girl, and I will be 20 on Monday. Happy birthday! You've been a big help making me smile every day since 2014, and I thank you for that. I love you, Jack. That's very, very sweet. Thank you so much. Force Raider. Thank you for making such a nice hoodie. I love the material. Waiting on the beanie to come in the mail. Also, I really enjoyed the New Orleans show. I'm very glad to hear that. I'm on both accounts. I'm really glad that you like the hoodie, too. I, I freaking love this hoodie. It fits me so well. It's so comfortable. Another thing that I should mention that we were talking about as well with the hoodies is that I'm I'm normally a medium in hoodies. And this one, I'm gonna stand up for a second. This one is a small. 
like the the thing with the hoodies is that they run slightly bigger than than regular. Let, let me see what um what Ben said about them. Uh where is it? Yeah. So just that they they run a little bigger than normal. Um it's just the way they are right now. So this is a small, but I'm normally a medium. So if you're if you're a medium as well, you might want to get a small in the hoodies just because they're a little larger than most other hoodies out there. So just kind of keep that in mind too. I don't want people to get a size for themselves and then it end up being like way bigger than they expected. Ethan Spencer. What would you give as advice to stop procrastination? This has gotten me in trouble in the past and I can't find a solution on my own. Thanks for being such a good and nice... Or such a nice and honest person, by the way. Um, thank you. The advice on how to stop procrastination. I mean, the meditation stuff works for that too. The meditation stuff works to just kind of like get your brain in order. Um, but... I'd say to just be aware of how you're spending your time. Like, if you're if you're on your phone, you realize, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Like, just put it down. Be disciplined. Actually focus on what you're supposed to be doing. Get the work that you need done, done first, and do it well. It really is just all willpower and... Willpower and discipline. Like, you can't really trick yourself out of procrastination. Just try and manage your time well. Kayla K, thank you for the $50. Holy crap. Hey, Sean, I volunteered at your Detroit show for the Septic Lights, and I wanted to say thank you. This community has given me the strength to take care of myself again, so thank you. Is there anything you're especially looking forward to next year? First off, that's great. Um, so, again, if you weren't at the shows, the Septic Lights were uh, a thing that Nina and Delaney, two, two girls on Tumblr, came together and did. Um, or maybe on Twitter first. But they came together and made these little green paper septic eye cutouts and on it it had descriptions on what to do so when I came out to start the show people would put the, the little green piece of paper over their phone and turn on their flashlight and then everyone would have a green light in the audience so when I came out there was green lights everywhere and you've probably seen a lot of those online and it was such a nice thing for them to do it's so wonderful and I never asked them to do it or anything and they just did it for every show they could in America and Europe and it was just it blew me away so thanks to them for that, and thanks to everybody who volunteered to do it, too. It really made it, like, extra special. Um, and also then for Sweden on Halloween, they had red ones, which was super cool to look at. Anything I'm especially looking forward to next year? Um, I, there's a lot of projects that I've been trying to get off the ground for a while that I've been kind of holding back on. And I'm excited to start working on those. Like I said before, I'm, I'm excited to start, like, focusing back on the channel a lot more. And really making stuff cool for the channel. And making, like, being involved again and recreating a bunch of old series and taking on new things and changing formats and new types of shows and everything. That kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to, like, reigniting that spark again. As well as doing all the stuff outside of YouTube. Um, and doing, like, a lot more ego stuff and everything. I want to do, like, proper versions of that stuff. Oh, I dribbled. I'm a mess. Do new YouTube channels stand a chance? Worth it? Of course. New YouTube channels will always stand a chance. It just depends on what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, if anything, it's easier now to get off the ground as a YouTuber than it's ever been. Like back when we were doing it, the algorithm didn't really boost any sort of smaller channels. Now there's stuff in place. It's still very, very hard to do, believe me. But there's some stuff in place now that smaller channels get more recognition than they ever have. Which is fantastic. Um, it doesn't always work out. It doesn't always happen. But I think now is a great time to be a YouTuber. It's... It might be harder to become a huge YouTuber or to get that, like, boost or to get that sudden, like, gargantuan growth in, in such a short period of time. Unless, like, you ride heavily on one trend. But, I don't know. YouTube's a weird place. 
Uh, Jenny, thank you for the ten dollars. Hey, stink man. Uh, that's garbage boy stink man to you. This week has been super rough, and having nobody in my school as friends has been a bit crushing. But I play your videos, and it feels like I do have somebody in a way. So thank you. Oh, Jenny, thank you very much. I hope you're doing okay. Hang in there. School doesn't last forever. And having no friends also doesn't last forever for anybody. Snow Elf Flake. I just want to say you're super awesome and I just got my cloak shirt. It is seriously the most comfortable thing I've ever felt. Is it made of clouds? It's actually made of little baby ducks. Um, but I'm really glad you like it. Thank you. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> You're such a great person. Mason, thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, I'm mostly Irish. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me know. Hottest merch in the game. <laughs> oh, remember them. What song is playing? I'm just playing some random, generic, like, royalty-free jazz stuff. Emma B, will there be cloak brand pins? Also, I loved your show in Denver. There most likely will be cloak pins. That's something that a lot of people have asked for already, and it's something that I want. It's something that everybody wants. Pins are always good. So, yeah. And it might become a thing where... Um, like, if you buy a shirt, you might get a pin free with it or something like that. There, there's a bunch of different ideas that we can come up with. How big of a role does capitalizing on new releases play on making it out on YouTube? That's a good question. Um, and it, it varies because... Oh, there's so many different ways that that works. I'd say for a smaller YouTuber, it is definitely worth getting in on the ground floor running. For me... I, like, because the channel is big enough, I'm lucky enough to have an audience that will wait for certain series. Like, Detroit was something that people waited for. Um, Deltarune was something that people waited for. Because I was gone. Or even if they weren't waiting for it, I'm lucky enough that people will still watch it even when I upload it. So, I think the bigger your channel gets, the less important it is. It still plays a factor. Because everybody wants to be the first one to get it out there. Because if people go looking for it, especially if it's a popular game... Like, take Spider-Man, for example. A lot of people knew I was going to play Spider-Man anyway. A lot of people know that I'm a very big Spider-Man fan. But if anybody wanted to see the game, I had videos out on it very quick. So then, that boosts it, obviously. But I'd say for smaller YouTubers, that's, that's a big factor. Because if you're one of the first people playing a game that people are interested in, um... Then you can kind of get off... You can hit the ground running a bit harder with that, because then... All the other, like, everybody's kind of playing it at the same time, and you might hit search rankings a bit easier. Because once once big YouTubers start playing it, they crush search rankings. Because that's just, that's just how the algorithm works. Um, but also, there's an upside to that, because you can be associated then. Like, if, if, say, if I play a game, and then a smaller channel plays a game, sometimes they will get an upswell of views, because it gets recommended alongside one of my videos. Or one of my videos will do better because it gets recommended alongside another bigger YouTuber. Things like that. So, there's a lot of different factors to it. But I'd say getting in on the ground floor, like, as soon as you can, does play a factor. But it's not the be-all and end-all of it. And it's especially less so if you have something unique that you're doing. Like, if a game comes out and your Let's Plays are completely unique, I don't know how that would be. Um then that plays less of a factor because what you're making is already unique enough on its own that people will be willing to go to you to watch that. But if it's a, a very standard type of Let's Play, then yeah, it's important. Will there be cloak hats? Sure will. Technically, a beanie is kind of a hat, so... There already are, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to make a lot of different hats. <gasps> How comfy is the merch? Sam... Like, honestly, not even just because of the fact that it's my clothing company or anything like that. Or I have a part in it or anything like that. It, it's honestly very, very comfortable. Because we wanted to make stuff that was comfortable.
Tabioli Gaming. Hey, I've donated and you haven't answered. Oh, I'm sorry. I love your videos. Will you do more Duck Season or Yandere Sim? Um, did they update anything in Duck Season? I don't know. Um, maybe. I don't know about Yandere, though. I, uh, I've never really been that into Yandere Sim. My watch is telling me that I achieved my standing goal for the day. I've been sitting here for quite a while. Can there be cloak gloves with pads so that we can still use our phones and tablets? First off, if we ever made, like, wool gloves, I can almost guarantee you that we would have, like, the smart fingertips in them because everybody uses phones these days, and I think that's just the way to go. But I think gloves are a good idea because I think they would match, like, the aesthetic that we're kind of going for. You should do more collabs with Kick the PJ. I agree. I should. I just, I haven't been back here in such a long time in Brighton and I'm, I'm doing so much different stuff. I wonder if Cloak will ever fit over my future fursuit. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Congrats on standing up. Thanks, Tony. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Hoop, I am doing nothing because we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, Sydney, any predictions for YouTube Rewind 2018? I mean, yeah, because I was already asked to be in it. Um, I was asked to be in it and they recorded what I would have been in. I said no because I was going on tour and I had so much shit going on. And, I don't know, YouTube Rewind is just not something that I'm super interested in. But they were recording, like, right before the end of October. So, the part that I was asked to be in, obviously, I know what that is. Or would have been. So, I know some things and predictions. I'm not going to say what it is, because I'm not going to spoil it. I don't even know if I'm allowed. Tucker, thank you. That's very, very sweet. I appreciate it. Uh, Ken Nicholson. You should put something up on your roofs every time you do your outro. You see something nice. What? Queen Antiseptic Eye, thank you very much. Matt Moniz, do you think you they should remaster more older games like they did Spyro? Yes, absolutely. Um, I want them to remake Jack and Daxter. Like a proper modern graphical update to that game. Your face looks so tense. Yeah, I've... I, I, I like... Grimace a lot. I furrow my brow a lot like when I'm looking at something. I get very like focused on it Article 13 thoughts article 13 is some scary shit man Everybody needs to be aware of that. I don't know the ins and outs of it completely yet, but Basically what article 13 is that they're trying to make it legal That you need to own every single copyright to the things that you upload to like YouTube or something as an example so it in Europe so if article 13 went through I would not be able to do my channel anymore and thousands hundreds of thousands maybe even millions of youtubers would not be able to do anything anymore because we can't unless it's just me sitting here and talking directly to the camera that's all I would be able to do because article 13 would make it that I can't use anything that anybody else owns, like a meme, a picture, a song, a game, because I don't have the copyright to that. So everyone in Europe would be fucked. So 40% of my audience is European, so can you imagine if, if Article 13 went through? Basically every European YouTube channel is gone and all the European audience is gone. It's, it's crazy scary stuff. I mean, I'm obviously catastrophizing it, um, and, like, I don't know the ins and outs of it, so I'm, I'm generalizing as well, but, basically, <laughs> so, Article 13 is stuff, something that people really need to be made aware of, and we need to fight back against it, because no fucking way should we let anything like that ever get through. 
first net neutrality, you know, this garbage. What the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah, I'll just turn it into an ASMR channel. So I know hearing stuff slightly political and hearing about Article 13 a lot, the same with net neutrality. Some people are going to listen to it and go, oh, yeah, I fucking get it. Stop talking about it already. Especially younger people, because, again, I've been there. I know what that's like. But Article 13 is something extremely serious. So, you're watching me, especially if you're, actually, even if you're American right now, because I live in Europe, well, maybe not for long, because of, uh, Brexit, another fucking issue. But basically, if you're watching me right now, but if Article 13 goes through, that won't happen. You won't be able to. I'll have to move to America to even be able to upload my content. And I don't know how that works, because my channel is technically Irish, so I don't know if I can get that moved, or if that even plays a factor. But also, anybody who is from Europe that you're watching, you'll have to stop watching because they won't be able to upload the type of content that they normally do. Because you'd have to... Like, even Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube, pointed out that, like, the Despacito video would probably have to be taken down. And most music would, because you can't verify that you have the copyright to every single instrument, note, like... <laughs> Like, chord progressions and every single type of sample and all that kind of stuff. It's just, no one has the money to be able to go out there and be like, well, maybe I can risk it. Oh, hey, Denise. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about Article 13. And a lot of people are trying to talk about it on Twitter and stuff now, so... <sighs> Please don't brush this off as something that's just... Oh, another political thing. Or that, oh, it's affecting Europe, so it doesn't affect me kind of thing. This is something that's... Very, very serious. Skylar Rose, why did you want Cloak? Because it's it's something that was new and interesting and something we hadn't done before. And I'm very I'm very into like clothing stuff. As you saw with like my PMA stuff and everything, I'm I'm very into like doing stuff with clothing brands. And I'm very into like diversifying off YouTube and I'm into doing like bigger, cooler things. And I've never done anything like this, especially with some friends and with people that we know and trust and never like launched an actual full-on clothing brand that we hope to have in stores at some point like like an actual serious clothing brand so why not <laughs> I have a question yeet more of a yote fan really Uh, Sheep4269, was it weird to see how popular you are in the States when you did the tour? My daughter Lily went as you for Halloween and almost all of the teenagers she encountered knew who she was right away. Oh man, that's, that's so cool. I had so many people like talk to me about going on Halloween as all the egos and I had people come to the shows as egos and everything and like, man, I remember being a kid and going out and dressing up as like a witch or a wizard, or something like that, or Spider-Man. So the thing that people are dressing up as me, or dressing up as characters that I've done on a YouTube channel, is one of the coolest things that I've ever had happen. So that's adorable, and... I don't know if it, I'd say it surprised me, because I know, like, the channel's big. I can literally see super in-depth analytics on the channel, and I can see that 60% of my audience is North American. So I knew, like, 60% of 20 million people. A lot of people. Um, what, what surprised me and what was weird to see was just how intense the touring atmosphere was. How intense it was to have, like, a thousand people in front of you. I've done stuff in front of a thousand people before, like, for a panel. But to see, like, a thousand to two thousand people be there and laughing at jokes that you have carefully crafted and set up. And in your head, you're like, okay, here comes the punchline. I hope they laugh, and then you say it, and it fucking kills, and to get that immediate gratification and that satisfaction, and just to see that payoff is just, oh, it's fucking wonderful. <laughs> is that Matt Watson or Rob McGee from Super Mega? Whip and slash or Nene. How about a whip and Nene simultaneously? Matt Pat style. 
I'm more of a, I'm more of a, a dab on them kind of guy. You know me. Um, but thanks, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll be back in town soon. Um, in a couple of weeks, so hope I hope we can hang out. We don't whisper. It's good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. The cloak stuff looks great. Keep it up, dude. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. I'm good to see you back. Uh, Mr. Camilla, did you find some inspiration or got any ideas for what to add for future shows while doing this one? Also proud of you. You spread so much goodness. Um, first off, it was great to actually meet you in person. Um, I know we didn't get a chance to, like, actually chat and I was on my way to get coffee, but it was, it was very nice to see you. Um, and put a face behind the name. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, like, even doing the shows from the start of the year to the end of the year, I, like, the jokes changed completely. There was so much, like, nuance added, there was so much pacing changed, a lot of the jokes were changed, some of them were even cut out. Um, because we found out what worked and what didn't, and even though I was trying to, like, make certain punchlines hit and certain jokes hit and land, they just weren't, so I was like, okay, fuck it, that's not important for the show, let's just move on and make better jokes. Um, and I got so good at, like, I got so good at, like, owning the stage and, like, knowing the pacing of what I was doing and working on it, and I learned so much about how to craft a joke and how to pace it and how to make it really fucking hit home. Because it was sometimes when I was saying a joke that, like, it hit, but then after a while I'm like, oh, all I have to do is change this one little thing and this tiny inflection, and then it hits so much harder, and that's all stuff that comes with experience, and I learned how to improv better doing this show over the last eight months than I ever have my entire life, so... Really great learning experience, so I, I know exactly how to do a live show next time I go out to do it. And it'll be a different type of material, but I'll, I think I'll be a lot better at it than I was starting off at this one. Tabitha, thank you. I hope young Cabin in the Woods, Sean, would be as proud of 28-year-old Jack Septic Guy as we all are. That's so fucking sweet. I think he would be. I think he'd be proud of the fact that I made something of myself and did something with my life, but also that I'm, I married a bunch of my loves in my life together to do something cool. Like, I just loved video games anyway, and the fact that I get to play them as part of my job... Is super cool. He'd be already proud of that. But uh, to know that I haven't drifted off into the clouds of fame and wonderment, I think he'd be proud of me for that too. And he was a very different person back then. I think he'd be very weirded out by how open-minded I've become, but also very proud of that as well. And very appreciative of it. Future Potato, yes. Hi, friend Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, everything froze. Come on, chat! Move! Okay, there we go. Is cheese good? Cheese is delicious. I have some blue cheese in my fridge for like the last week that I've been making my way through, but it just it smells. <laughs> But the smellier the better. A good smelly cheese. Give me it. Loving the spiral videos with the background sounds. Yeah, sadly, two episodes fucked up like that. So we're gonna have to deal with it. But it, it gets better over the next few episodes. Like episode five and six should be fine. But Robin added some fun sound effects for those. What is your favorite game to play? See, Shadow of the Colossus is my favorite game ever, but my favorite game to actually play is Bloodborne. Shay ASF. Jack, I've been wanting to do this for years. I've been watching you since 2012 when I was seven. From Skate 3, Horror Games, and Happy Wheels, I introduced you to my whole third grade, and everyone watches you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very sweet. And I've been you. I've... God, I, sh I realized the other day that I've been doing YouTube for six years now. Like an actual full six years since the war has changed. Impression went up. You should play Team Fortress 2. I've actually never played Team Fortress 2. 
Doo doo doo. Can you do more Happy Wheels, please? I'm sorry. I won't be doing any more Happy Wheels. How do you improve your mental state with time, patience, and understanding? And some help from others. There, nobody can understand their mental health completely on their own. Nobody can understand themselves completely on their own. We always need help to figure out who we are because bouncing off other people is a great way to understand who you are. To see where you stand, to relate, to understand if the thoughts you're having are weird or strange or out of the ordinary or if they're the exact same that everybody else is having. Which most times they are. Will you ever post Subnautica again? Patricia, I will when the DLC comes out. Which hopefully won't be that much longer. I talked to the developers a little while back, like a couple of months ago. And they said that they were working on it and they'd give me it when it was ready. So I'm really looking forward to that. I love those guys. You gonna do a drum cover anytime soon? Probably not until next year. Will we ever get Trivia Boy as a special guest? Maybe. If I'm ever in Idaho. If I'm, if I'm ever in Trivia Land, Idaho, I, I might. I'll hit him up. He's a good friend of mine. Logan R. Here's the problem, Article 13. The people who support this are mostly music artists and political old farts whom have no idea what the article is and what it will really do. We need to get them to listen. Yeah. So for music, it works well because it, it really protects um, musicians' rights and their artistry and everything, which is great. But it does way more damage, I think, than anything like that. Because we live in a new world, we live in a world that is very media-driven, it's very digital, it's very, like, social media-driven. Article 13 cripples all of that. Like, can you imagine, not just Let's Players or anything like that, can you imagine the sheer quantity of YouTubers on, on the platform who are doing stuff from Europe who will not be able to do anything like that anymore because Article 13 comes into place? Even people who are extremely money-hungry should be able to see how much fucking damage that will do. Like... It's... it's ridiculous. Is there any way to watch your Laugh Factory set? Well, it was my Just for Laughs set. Um, so right now, no, it wasn't recorded there, but... I'm, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with the documentary, because... Tucker, who everybody knows, Tucker Prescott, extremely good friend of mine, I fucking love that guy. But he was recording... A lot of the... He was recording absolutely everything from the tour, so... Tucker has, like... Uh, he has, like, 40 to 50 hours worth of material from the show. Everything from backstage to personal interviews to... Like, stuff that none of us knew he was recording. To drone footage to all the shows. Like, he's recorded the actual show start to finish so many different times, so... We're trying to figure out... A way of doing it so that people can see the show... Uh, eventually in totality, but also work it into the documentary as well. And I don't want to go out there and, like, release too many different things. So I'm going to figure out a way of doing it, but there should be a way of watching the whole show eventually all at the once. All, all at the same time. Am I ever going to get a dog? I am. I just don't know when. I want to, I like, getting a dog is a big commitment. I want to really make sure that I know what I'm doing. Can I have free merch? If only that's how the world worked. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you going to have prop hunt? I don't know. It's kind of up to everybody else if we ever get together and record again. I mean, I'd love to. It's just been hard to get everybody together to record all together again. Um, and I haven't contacted the guys, so... 
Maybe. Cloak pajamas? That's not a bad idea. I think we've had that suggestion a lot, actually. Ricey Gomez! I saw your show in Atlanta and was so excited I was able to ask you a question. Seeing you is the highlight of my year. Blessings for your future. Aw, same to you! Favorite song and why? I have a few favorite songs. One of my more recent favorite songs is To Be Alone by Hosier. If you watch his, if you look up Hosier To Be Alone uh, live in Kilkenny, one of the best music performances I've ever seen. It's just a man and a guitar and it's fucking breathtaking. Um, another one of my favorites is uh, Falling in Love With You by Elvis Presley because that song is just so fucking sweet and wholesome and lovely and I love it to death and I'm a hopeless romantic so it hits at my heart um, and then I think one of my favorite songs ever is My Way by Frank Sinatra I remember hearing it when I was a kid for a Cadbury's cream egg commercial and I just really liked how it sounded and that was the first time I ever heard Frank Sinatra I was like I want to listen to this kind of stuff more um and I ended up, like, getting a CD of his greatest hits and listening to it in the car. And I was, like, the only one my age listening to that kind of stuff. Um, and I just like the message behind that song. It's like, now the end is near. You're facing your final stuff, but you did it your way. And you should be happy about that. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. I just realized I'm, like, doing this again. Whoa! Dean's Girl! Red Rody again! Thank you for the $50! Holy crap! I'm anxious about donating again, but you've been so honest about the times you haven't felt your best. I figured I owed you the same courtesy. Will going to LA replace getting an office in Brighton keep doing what makes you happy? Yeah, so the, the office in Brighton I was gonna get, and I had paperwork like sorted out and I was actually like all I had to do was sign off on it and it would have been done but I realized that I wasn't going to be here enough to actually utilize it and the stuff that I wanted to do wasn't suited towards Brighton so yeah going to LA will replace that Uh, Jake the dog favorite game and you should play games with subs You just said favorite game and not favorite game question mark, so I don't know And I should play games with subs. I, I want to play like Jackbox games with people. We might even still do that before tonight's over How many subscribers do you think you're gonna be at in 2020? I have no idea. I, I'm not gonna think that far ahead I'm already happy with how much that the channel has gained at this point, so I'm not gonna get too greedy with it. Let, let's just say more than 20 million. I feel like you're upset about something. You okay, Sean? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm great, actually, so... I'm sorry if I'm giving off that vibe. Samuel! I give you the $10. Can you please play more Astroneer with Robin? It's a lot more complex and has updated a lot. Yeah, we talked about it, actually. And I met the Astroneer devs at... Okay, wait, hold on. Give me a sec, I have something to show you. So, 
I met the Astroneer devs at, um, at PAX, and they gave me this. It's a little Astroneer badge, but on the back of it, it says that, it says my name. So, they, they made these for some people, and they had them ready, and I saw them tweet out about it, and then I went up to their booth, and they gave me these, and we talked about it, and we talked about some future updates for the games, and stuff that's changed and everything, so... I, me and Robin were there at the same time, so... We talked about going back to it. We'd love to. I love that game. Do people want Sean to speak some Irish slang or just me? Ash J. Squayota. <laughs> I've also found out that going back to Ireland, which was lovely. I loved going back to Ireland. It was extremely emotional. Um, because it just brought up a lot of like old memories and stuff and where I grew up and seeing people who I hadn't seen in like... God, there were some people who I hadn't seen in like 15 years. And it was just a, like a really big like, blow to see that kind of stuff and remember where everything started and things like that, but I also realized that going back and having Guinness back in Ireland is like, oh, I actually like Guinness now. I never did before. Will you bring out a camo style in Cloak? That's also something that people have suggested a lot, so yeah. I mean, I can't say for uh, any of the stuff here that I say is not definitive because I don't call the shots or anything like that, but if enough people want it, enough people want to give feedback, again, there's an email as well that you can send stuff to at like ideas at cloak.com, I think, um, or any of the Instagram posts or anything. The, the team who are working on it are very, very interactive and they're very communicative and they're very understanding and that kind of stuff. So like, just talk to them. And I know there's a lot of stuff around Cloak, and a lot of people, like, again, with the price and all that kind of stuff, but there's no need to get, like, aggressive about it, or very testy about it. Like, we're here to listen, we're here to understand, we're here to talk about it, we're here to be civil. Let's not attack each other, let's let's work together, let's let's keep, keep open this dialogue. Time we start throwing shit at each other, that dialogue falls apart. Savannah Connett. Hey, Sean, it's so lovely that you were so connected to the community. Also, I've watched the Undertale series about 50 times. Jeez, that's a lot of times. Thank you. <laughs> Lil Akachak. My name is Kira, Ciara, uh, and I'm an Inuit fan. You've helped me through difficult times in my life and taught me to laugh genuinely again. I'm in a good place mentally now, so I'm always grateful to you and your positivity. That's really sweet. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're here. Mystic Falcon. What made you seek out a collab? Seek out and collab with the Game Grumps in LA as opposed to others you've collabed with before? Just the fact that I, I didn't have the chance to do it. I, I've been in LA before and a lot of the people I've normally collabed with, I've done like through Skype or through Discord over the years, and I've done stuff with them in person and things like that, but the Game Grumps were people that I never actually like sat in their office and did many collabs with, so I really wanted to do that. And plus, I, I've become so incredibly close to that group of people over the last year, like way more than I was before. We're, we're all, it's not just like, oh, we're YouTube friends now, like I'm actually genuinely like strong, lifelong friends with many of those people now. And because a lot of them we I've gone on tour with a, a bunch of times and we've like shared a bus together and we've stayed up late talking and drinking and having fun and being on the road and being having all our ups and downs together so it's one of those things that's just created this huge strong bond um and I really wanted to do more stuff with them when I go back to LA again I want to do way more stuff with them because they're good people and they make cool shit and I I want to do more stuff with them. And they're people I trust, and people I believe in, and people I respect. Not to say that I don't do that with other people as well, but I'm just saying why I admire them as much as I do. I 
Anemonian Gaming, thank you. And Kikyo, thank you as well. As well as the Wolf Fang. Doo -doo -doo. What happened to the old grey cap? I actually don't know where that is. I think it's in a box somewhere when we moved. It's probably somewhere in, like, the garage, somewhere in a box. I just haven't had a reason to take it out yet. Uh, hey Jack, my husband and I are big fans. His favorite video has to be the Reigns animation. I'm a cartoonist and I was the girl with the cat ears who gave you a high five in Philadelphia. Oh! Those remind me a lot of my big brother. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, you guys want to play a game together? Want to play some Jackbox together? Um, I don't really know how that works with just an audience. Because normally when I play Jackbox games, it's with other people. And then we fill the room, and then the audience jumps in, so I don't know how this is going to work. We'll see. I just want to play some stuff, and I want to play some stuff with you guys. <laughs> how much sex do you have? <laughs> From Ethan Telsert. Oh, you know, just like, all of it. All the sex. Prismic Alloy, thank you for the $50. Oh, you brought light to a dark world for me. Now I'm serving in the US Navy. Thank you for saving me and giving Miles a brighter future. Love you. That's so sweet. Thank you very, very much. Um, what am I doing in general? Uh, let's see how this works. Whoa. Jesus. What you been up to recently, Jack? You know, touring. <laughs> Trying to do fun stuff. Um, okay, so. Jackbox is open. Maybe I should add it to the... Uh, I'll add it to the title. And then we'll go into gaming. There we go. Do, 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 do. Will you release pants? Yes. Sweatpants are coming soon for a cloak. As well as leggings. Are you planning on getting married? Dude, I don't even know if I'm getting a fucking dog yet. <laughs> Um, oh, that's, n I did not mean to click that. What the fuck? Why did it go non-full screen when I clicked into, oh, okay. It keeps going full screen and non-full screen. This game is a mess. Let me turn down the volume for myself and then I can turn it up here and then you guys can let me know how it is. Um, so there's a bunch of different games you can play in the Jackbox Party Pack. You, there's, you don't know Jack. Uh, I don't really want to play that one. Split the room. The what if game where anything is possible. Create strange and divisive hypothetical situations. Eh. Uh, Mad vs. City. The robot rap battle. I don't want to do a rap battle. The galaxy's deadliest game show. Fling yourself and win fabulous prizes. Oh, that's actual... No. Patently stupid, I've heard, is fun. This isn't the, the new one. Um, like Jackbox Party Pack 5 came out. I'll, gi I'll give you guys the room code in a minute, and I'll, sh I'll show it on screen. So let's let's do patently stupid. 
So what's going to happen is that some of you are going to get the code first and you're going to be able to play it very quick. Um, and then some of you, I know you can only see me, I'm going to change it in a second. Some of you will have to just be in the audience. Um... Okay, so I have to create the room first, and then I have to join it, and then make sure that... Okay. Okay. And then after I join, I'll... I'll, I'll show the screen, and then whoever gets the code first gets to get into the room and play as a member, but everybody at home can still join and be part of the audience. Bagel with lock spread for Ryan. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a fun name. Invalid room code? What? No, it's not. <laughs> this is literally the room code that's in front of me right now. God damn, this fucking game. Okay, let me fix. Jesus Christ. Raptor, thank you for the hundred dollars. Thank you, Jack, so much for your videos. They've helped, really helped me. I drew... I also drew power armor for you based on Spider-Man that everyone says is amazing. That's awesome. I'll have to look at, I'll have to look into it. If you post it on Twitter or Tumblr or something, I'll, I'll try and have a look for it afterwards. Okay, let me see if I can get this fucking working. Uh, yes, I want the audience on. Okay, connecting to Jackbox services. Got it. Then go to jackbox.tv. Yes. Enter room code. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. I have three coffees for Mr. T, four teas for Mr. Three, and 40 pho trees for the gentleman in the back doing a vaudeville routine. How very funny. The, the room code's not working for some reason. I don't know why. Um... Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> okay, I was putting the room code in as my name. Toasted everything bagel for Joseph. So Toasted let's do this. For Joseph. Okay, why is the game not showing up? There we go. Okay, so first people in Jackbox.tv. Game room code is CJLV. So there's your there's your stuff. Go to that, and you'll be able to you'll be able to get in. Ha! We have somebody in. Nice! Okay. All our spots are full for players. So if you still want to play... Whiskey for Roscoe. I shut up. Didn't even know we sold that. You can still go in and you can still enter the room code and Jackbox TV and everything like that. And you can be part of the audience. So you can... You can still play. You can still attend and you can still be part of this. Okay, we wait for a little more audience to come in. See if it goes up over a thousand. 878, 892. Jump on in, everybody! Let's have fun. Let's play all together. So all of you people who are actually playing the game with me, hello, welcome, hi, I'm gonna trash your ass. Okay, we're about to start. So stuff is gonna be on my phone. I'm gonna play this way. I have no idea how this game works. Can you guys hear okay? Is that loud enough or is it too loud? Hello. Welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. We've got a packed room of eight. But more importantly, this room is packed with future millionaires. <laughs> Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. 
And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. So you guys can go to jackbox.tv, bottom left, and put in the room code as CJLV, and you can be part of the audience to play along with us. Big problems. Audio is good? Okay. Those big problems will need to do a little market research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill in the blank prompts. Type in anything at all. Oh. And voila, you've created a problem. Okay. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. Got so it. Let's get to it. Complete the prompts that have been sent to your device. Okay, so we got stuff on our phones, the people who are playing, and we get to put it in, and then you guys are going to get to vote on it. Um, oh, what do I want to say? Ah, oh, crap. I want to be funny, but now I can't be funny on the spot. Um, okay. <laughs> so we're getting a bunch of stuff on our devices. All right, so got two gaps and Everybody who's in the round are all writing down what they want and then all you guys That's at home are gonna have to wait around. Thank you Marpec Wouldn't let you join you you might have to do it on your phone Okay people in the people in the room you're gonna have to be faster than this we're running out of time. We have like 10, 20 seconds left. We have J, N, B, M, P, O, M. A bomb. Okay, three people. N, B, M. You're going to have to be faster. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, N, B. You didn't get to finish. I'm sorry. Okay, what do we got? Now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been okay, there. so Simply we we just got somebody else's problems, and then we have to pick our favorite ones. Okay. We're halfway home. So this stuff will start to make sense a bit more as we get through it. It's a bit confusing at the moment. So some of the other ones that people picked came to us, and now we have to write them down. I don't know if that works for all you guys at home, but this is this is gonna be fun. Fantastic. Okay. Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is when ideas become reality using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. <laughs> and remember, color is your friend. Oh, okay. So we have to write, we have to draw how to fix these problems? Oh, no. I picked a terrible one then. Ah, I didn't know what to draw for this. Fuck. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, oh no. I can go really fucking dark with this, but I don't want to. I don't want to be. Oh god. Um, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no. We're Forgive me. Waypoint. Forgive me, everybody, okay? This doesn't even make any sense. Ugh. Um, I should also tweet that we're doing this, too. That, to make people aware that we're still live. After this round, I might. Okay, so we're waiting for players to draw. Come on, folks. Time's almost over. And then after this round, we'll cycle out so some of the rest of you can get to play as well. You are all naturals. I was <laughs> just gonna say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give okay. it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people think, hey, I really need that. Let's go. We need to give it a title and a tagline? What the? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Write a title for your invention. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Um. 
Uh, I need to write a tagline for it now as well. We're halfway there. <laughs> Fuck. Well. <laughs> I guess we're going to see what happens. N O M, come on, Nom. N and M. I feel like you guys have oh, missed out on a lot of stuff, but it could be also lag, based on internet and devices and stuff. Oh, are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Oh man. Great. Now each of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly, Lena. Now, let's see those inventions. Oh god, I just realized the next presentation will start in just a moment. So Jampy is me. Let me handle it or present it for me. Present it for me. Stand I'm gonna let them present it for me. Hey Tobes, seems as if you have a problem. You bet I do, Lena. Honestly, I just I'm can't tired of endless end depression. This, this anymore. That is a problem. But I think I've got just what you need. It's something <laughs> I like to call. That sounds like a perfect solution. What's it look Depresso like? Depresso eraso. Point your That's my product. At this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. Okay. Oh Jesus. Looks great, That's Lena. supposed to be candy. Tagline. I'm afraid I just won't remember it. Not, not pills. Not my easily influenced friend. <laughs> oh, Soon shit. every billboard will read this. Oh God. Very nice. <laughs> It's darn near perfect. <laughs> and that's how it's done, everybody. Yikes. That's, uh... Okay, May. The next presentation will start in just a moment. So, May can decide to do it themselves or let them do I it. I really want to make but this all on my own. I want to well, make my I've own underwear. It's called... That's it? I mean, Steal and claim? Take a look-see. Whoa, now that's a design. <laughs> but I'll be angry if it doesn't have a great tagline. Here it is. And see. These are totally mine and made by me. <laughs> Steal and claim indeed. <laughs> Bunny, okay. Mate, that was good. That was pretty good. I don't know for sure. But I think I my think parents, parents might be getting hungrier getting and hungrier. <laughs> and I've got the perfect solution. Just call it. More food. A gander. That's a humdinger. All it's missing is a tagline. What is that? And Buy see. more food. <laughs> oh, that's good. It looks like pills. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Oof. What's oof got? I know I'd be My asshole cat keeps me from this. working out. <laughs> Like oh, well, this game is great. Show me more. Your best Let friend. Me show you. Well, slap my butt and call me Cornelius. Give me that tagline. Then take a gander here. And scene. Your best friend allows you to get those push-ups. Okay, I don't think that solves the problem. These are too tall. Trees are too tall. Well, I've got a plate full of fixin' for ya. It's simply called... I'm excited already. Jeez. <laughs> Let's see it. Well, looky here. Whoa. Now slap a tagline on it. Ready, Freddy? And that's how it's Don't done, Don't be everybody. so short, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Great okay. job, everyone. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. All right. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second okay. largest to your second favorite, and so on. And those of you in the audience get a chip to invest too. Got all that? Good. Let's go. Okay, so we have to vote on which ones we like best. Um, what one did I like best? Oh, we get to do the second favorite invention then as well. And then third favorite. Okay. I voted! So, now I kind of get how the game works. It was a little confusing at first, so after We're this... There. 
After this, we'll go over it again and we'll we'll try and figure it out a bit more. Audience vote. Yeah, you guys should be able to vote as well, right? Or maybe we and we vote Not to rush first. You, but the clock's a ticking. Oh no, the audience are voting as well. I think I see it there in the bottom left. Uh, might need to move my camera a bit. Ah, I'm not really blocking much. Great. Now let's what are you guys see voting for? Drove people wild. You'll need to acquire twelve hundred dollars in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a five hundred dollar funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people voted for steal and claim. That was a good one. Oh, ho, ho. are you guys just voting because it's me? Yep. Sorry, Charlie. That was a good one too. Oh no, I voted for that one. I also voted for this one. Close, but no cigar. Oh, it failed to get funding? Oh, 1,200 needed to fund. So what did Jeans get? Yeah! Jeans got nice. funded! Those are some uh, little Inferno sound effects, by the way. Okay, final round. For the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, oh. you all tackle the same problem. Oh. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. So we're all solving the same problem now this time. Final okay. Problem goes to you. Simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. Oh. Come on, M. May, you got to choose what we all got to solve, okay? So please choose wisely. Please just choose, actually. May, May, you gotta choose. No hurry, but... Okay, thank you, May. Ooh, that's a good one. I dread the holidays okay. because of slash you know zoom. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, shit, what do I draw for this? Um, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Fuck. This isn't going to make sense if you haven't actually been there. Um. So slash zoom is from the the charity stream we did at the end of last year. We're halfway there. <laughs> this doesn't look anything like I wanted it to. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, I can't think of anything else. Ah, uh, God. I uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. There we go. Submitted. I. This is. Okay. <laughs> Only a few seconds left to draw. <laughs> The meme continues, it never dies. Okay, let's make those titles and taglines. Okay, title and tagline. Um. Okay. I have mine gone in. I don't want to say what it is this time, because last, like, saying what I'm doing kind of ruins some of the fun. I want people to try and guess which ones I'm writing down. Okay, you should be halfway done. What does the audience do during this part? Do you guys get to do anything? Or do you have to wait for the voting at the end? The meme's almost a year old. That's true. Thanks, Marpec, for updating people. Tick tock, time's running out. Okay, NM, you're gonna have to be faster. Even though I think there might be 
something wrong with your devices or your internet and it's just not showing in time. Alrighty. Okay, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. Okay. Oof. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. Well, I've got you covered. I call it. I'm peeking. Oh out. wait, Let's it's just going to show what well, I have anyway, look, right? Silly. Ah. <laughs> Let's bring it home with a tagline. Well, you're in luck. And see. give money, noob. No one cares about your body bills. <laughs> <laughs> Balklin. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. Well, I've got a solution. I'd like to call it. I'm with you. Isolation. Let's see it. <laughs> Ready? Take a look. I love it. <laughs> it's all poopy without a tagline. Let's see it. And Isolation scene. solves everything, even if you have no idea what to solve. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. It's maze time. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. That's going around, but there's a solution. It's called. What's it look like? Run Take and scream. Ooh, <laughs> I'm tired of faking enthusiasm. Show me that tagline. Get ready. And run. Scene. Do it. Just run. Don't look back. <laughs> oh, that's good. Bonehead 764. We haven't seen you guys last time because they didn't show up. Maybe. I don't think you got enough time to do it. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. Well, I've got just the thing. Just call it. My prayers. Break the answer. damn thing. But what's it look like? Well, take a look, silly. It's practically making love oh, to my eyes. I get okay, it. Okay, lay that sweet, sweet tagline on. I got me. it. Well, you're in luck. And that's how it's done. Who needs everybody. it? <laughs> Is that a laptop? Jumpy. Uh, yeah. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. Well, I've got the solution. It's simply called. Don't keep my eyes waiting. <laughs> Daddy, take a look. Wow, we <laughs> now show me that sweet, sweet tagline. Here we go. And scene. <laughs> Oh god, fun. <laughs> Bunny time. I'm dreading the holidays because of this. Then I've got something for you. Just call it. Okay, I'm <laughs> no more. Let me show you. Nice. Now wrap <laughs> it up with a tagline. Here it is. And see. Blow it up no more. <laughs> oh. Oh, now okay. It's time to pick your favorites, but let's raise the stakes, shall we? Okay, actually You're pick your favorites. Don't just that vote that for me now. because There's I'm the one streaming or anything like that. Why is it well. orange? Because that's the only color I get. That's my color. I'm orange. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, audience are voting. Most votes are gone in. We're waiting on M and N again. We're halfway home. 1,400 people have voted. 1,500 out of 24. 1,600. Get your votes in, everybody! Quit dawdling. Time's almost up. Jesus is watching somewhere in the stream. Jesus is always watching. Damn! Forty-six hundred dollars. Good job, isolation. So oh, sad. sorry. Break the damn thing. I voted for you. <laughs> you guys are just biased. Oh, sorry. No more. Oh, you need 2,000 to get hands. funded, Jesus. Yes, run and scream. Yes, run and scream. <laughs> there you go. 
Hell yeah, gamer. Nice. That's it. Oh, I can't show you the leaderboard. May is the winner. You clearly have the gift of invention. Good job, now, May. That was good. News. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. Yeah, blah blah. On the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. Thanks that for making us rich. Stupid, that's what they say. Oh, that was really fun. Okay, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna do this. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new room just to give people a chance to get back in and play again. So I'm also gonna tweet out about this, so we can get more people in. And now that we're actually playing games and stuff. Okay. Uh, hold on a sec. My mic's in the way. Okay, Coolio. Tweet is done, so now I'm gonna get in. So, before we start this off again, next time, I need to get into the the thing myself first. Um, yeah, and the room code is, so the room code's gonna go up in a sec. I'll show the screen in a sec. I have a beef with Jim. I have a beef with Jim. I'm Jim. Here's your roast beef sandwich. Thanks. Okay, you all ready? I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father. So, here we go. All right, go to jackbox.tv. Room code is ZFHW. The first people to put it in are going to be able to join the room and play as an actual player. And then everybody else can still enter this and go to jackbox.tv and put in your stuff. Oh, hey, Jax Films. How's it going, man? Let's play Jackbox with only Jax. <laughs> Double shot espresso for Karen. Okay. Um, it's pronounced espresso. Get out of my sight. We have all our players. Now we're just waiting for the audience to get in. So the way this works is that we're making up inventions. We're given some stuff that we have to create. Then we have to come up with the, the names for them, we have to come up with what they look like, and come up with the tagline for them. So, that's basically what it is. So, we're gonna start the round. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Can we do it on a phone? Yeah, so that's what we're doing it on. That's what we're playing on. Okay, I'll skip Hello, the intro this time. Welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. Oh, Lena! We are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. We've got a packed room of eight. So you'll still be able to join. The the this stuff is still is down there. So we're gonna skip okay, the intro. Room up. code is still there. Get Website is still there. So you can still be now part of the audience. Knows the best inventions solve big problems. That's right, Lena. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do something we call market, market research. research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. Yeah, and so we get prompts, voila, we fill them in, problem. like now lots of different games we've played before, and then we have to come up with what those inventions look like. Inspire their creative masterpieces. So, let's get to it. We have to come up with solutions to these problems. Okay. Um. Okay. Ah, crap. I'm trying to think of fun stuff, but not go too far. <laughs> My stuff is gone in. That's half your time. That's half your time. Hurry on up if you want to get your invention in today.
Will this be uploaded or just streamed? This will go up as an archive afterwards. Okay. Yay! Everybody got their stuff in this time. Awesome. And we have 3,400 people in the audience, so welcome. We're all going to do some market research and we're all going to solve our problems together. So we've put in our problems. And now we have to come up with the inventions on how to solve those problems. Now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been okay. there. Simply pick the one you want to solve. Okay. Or oh damn, we're all done. Fantastic. Now it's time right. to solve that problem. That's right. This is the pivotal moment where you bring your designs to life using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. Some cocktail napkins. <laughs> okay. And don't forget to spice it up with a little color. Yeah. I had orange last time. I don't want orange this time. What color did I get? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> okay, my drawing's done. That's half your time. When things get hard, try going limp. All right, get your drawings in, people. Uh -oh, it's hard, though. Almost done. It's hard trying to come up with something clever and proper for the thing. Oh, guys, 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 guys! Oh, T and C. All naturals. I was just gonna say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that would make Thomas Edison climb out of his grave and shake your hand. Okay. Let's go. Um. Oh, that's no, that's dumb. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to go up with something fun. Um, oh, I got a good one. Well, <laughs> we're halfway home. Good one. <laughs> Ah, shit. Ah, I can't spell! There we go. Alright. You gotta get your stuff in, see? Tick tock, time's running <clears throat> out. Really sell yourself too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly. Okay, I'm just gonna now let them present it because it doesn't really make any sense. Okay, red. Plus I can't hear you guys to present it we yourself. Got this covered. What's up, Toby? Seems like you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I just can't stand the quality of this. <laughs> I can't stand well, the quality of my dad. <laughs> it's just a little thing called yeah, that's Dad really disappointed. What does it look like? Take a look for yourself. Picasso could have <laughs> Jesus. It himself. But Lena, I'll forget about this in five minutes unless it has an unforgettable tagline. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. 
soon every billboard will read this. Beautiful. Disappoint your We've done your dad with a punch here. to the and face. <laughs> you said disappoint your sad though. Punch your sad right in the face like a boss. Toki King. I want to go camping, but I hate this. Well, I, I hate going camping it. because of my I crippling like depression. <laughs> I gotta see this. Windmills are fun. <laughs> what? Neato. <laughs> Bring it home with a tagline. Then take a gander here. And that's how Just stare at a windmill and let your crippling depression slide away. <laughs> oh, so relatable. I need to reuse this. <laughs> I wish you could reuse toilet paper. <laughs> well, I've got a plate full of fixings for you. It's called. Let's see that drawing. Reuse oh, that paper. Here. Look at that. But Lena, my brain is bad. I can only remember things. The that fuck is this? Tagline. Ready, Freddy? And Don't see. be clean. Just go green. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, May's back! You made it back into the next round. My garden. Did you know I got into My garden well, is infested with screaming infested, people. I mean, infested with this. Well, I've got just the thing. I call it. You've got my no more garden. Tingling. Take a look, see. It's perfect. Do I have a tagline? <laughs> Let's see it. And Get see. rid of your garden. Problem solved. Mate, you're not wrong. That's pretty good. I keep messing up job interviews by doing this. When I uncontrollably well, I shart. Like to call it. <laughs> Make my eyeballs happy already. Well, take a look, silly. Take that. Oh finger. no, well, indeed. The a tagline. Here it is. And they're same. not diapers. <laughs> Oh, this round is fucking great. Oh, Jesus. Just thinking of this scares the dude. Teeth out of terrifies me. What's going around? But there's a solution. It's simply called Hurt me up already. Invisitude. Well, looky here. You don't get that. <laughs> now, let's see that drawing. I mean tagline. Then take a gander here. And that's how it's done, Hide everybody. those chompers. <laughs> okay. It's Nick Knack's turn. I'm just so disgusted by this. Well, You're disgusted by pineapple that. on pizza. Just okay, everybody. Game's over. I'm with you. Let's see. Oh, it. pepperoni Let pizza is the solution. <laughs> oh, this is clever. I just want this to be over. So show me that tagline. Get ready. And Why see. would you eat pineapple, dingus? <laughs> okay, fuck, that one works so well. Great job, everyone. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Okay. <laughs> so now we have to vote. Ship to your favorite invention, your second largest, your second favorite, and so on. And those of you in the audience get a chip to invest, too. Now let's make some money. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what was my favorite ones? Uh, this one. Then this one. And then this one. Okay. I have voted! I want pineapple pizza right now. We're halfway home. Get to voting, everybody! What are your favorites? Did you like the teeth? Did you like the windmills? Or did you like a man shitting his pants? Not to rush you, but the clock's a ticking. <laughs> Great, now let's see which inventions got people excited. You'll need to acquire $1,200 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. 
Maybe next time. That was my one. I failed. That one was pretty good. Good job. I think I voted for that. Yep, that was my number one. <laughs> that was a really good one. And this was my other one. God damn! Those are good. I like those ones a lot. So sad. No. Oh. Damn. Way to go. You know what the you know what the social media people like. Ooh, a swing and a miss. It's okay, Dad Disappointer. Mine didn't get funded either. That's all. Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different okay. problems, so somebody has to pick the problem that we problem. all gotta solve. Dun, dun, dun. What's it gonna be? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. And who should choose that final problem? How about you? Simply. Okay, so L, you get to choose what our final problem is. What's it gonna be? Levi gets to pick. Good choice. Okay, I find boners to be very disagreeable. <laughs> Let's draw. That was one of mine. <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be horrible. This is gonna be real bad. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Who am I versing? I'm just playing with people in the chat. Play with all you guys. We're halfway home. What about the size options? <laughs> Feisty Wolf, thank you. Love seeing your face, darling. Thanks for always being you. Keep up the marvelous work. I will try my best. Thank you very, very much. How's your day? My day's pretty good. Okay, let's wrap those drawings up. Demonetized, yeah, probably. Ah, oh, C, you gotta be faster, bud. Okay, time for titles and taglines. Okay, what we got? Titles and taglines. Um. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be really funny. <laughs> That's half your time. All righty. Almost there. <clears throat> hey, we're all in. Okay. All right, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. So now we all got to pitch. Am I the only one? I find boners this? to be very then disagreeable. I you. It's called. I'm geeking out. <laughs> the solution is dick away. Keep that toast. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Give me that tagline. Well, you're in luck. And seen. A spray a day keeps the dick at bay. <laughs> oh, red. A shrink ray. That would be a good one. Fuck. 
Am I the only one offended by this? Well, I've got a solution. I call it... What's it look like? Bone away. Take a look. Very similar mentalities. That looks great. Tagline time. Ready, Freddy? The hell is... Are you shooting and your dick? Speed. Spray the bulge away. Oh, God. What am I doing? <laughs> you said, instead of saying doing, you said, what am I doing? <laughs> oh. Am I the only one offended by this? This is so well, stupid. I've got you covered. I like to call it... Show me more. Take a gander. Snip, snip. That'll catch your eye. Now stick the landing with a tag. Ooh. Line. Here we go. And that's it. It may hurt. Done, Don't everybody. worry. It's worth it. It's L'Oreal. Jeez, you just want to cut the dick off? That's not good. <laughs> Cheesable. Am I the only one offended by this? Well, I've got the solution. It's simply called. My prayers. Hide in your answered, pants. What's it look like? <laughs> well, take a look, silly. Mosquito. <laughs> Is he now whistling? Wrap it up with a tagline. <laughs> then take a gander here. And no see. one's gonna notice that weird shape, right? Oh god. <laughs> oh, May, you're up again. Am I the only one offended by this? Then I've got the perfect solution. Just call it. Let's see that. My eyes are open. Ready? Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it home with a tagline. Oh, that's line. good. Ready, Freddy? And Why do you see. keep looking at it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Am I the only one offended by this? That's going around. But there's a solution. I like to call it... I'm excited Boner already. belt. Let's see it. Well, Is this going to be hiding the boner in a belt? It's perfect. <laughs> now show me that sweet, sweet tagline. Get ready. And see. If you want to look good in front of Karen, slap on the boner belt. <laughs> oh, this is fucking brilliant. Who's Karen? <laughs> Am I the only one offended by this? Well, I've got oh, a solution. Jesus. Why do you keep saying it? We know it's all the same solution. Or it's all the same problem. I gotta see. Close. This. Let me show Not you. Not bad. That looks great. I'm tired of faking enthusiasm. Depends on how big the boner is, though. Let's see it. And that's Hide that dong so things don't go wrong. I like the rhyming ones. Is that everybody? Oh no, knickknack. Am I the only one offended by this? Well, I've got you covered. It's called. Show me those tidy whities. Take a look, see. Whoa, now that's a design. Very nice. Give that's a very plump line. boy right there. Well, you're in luck. And see. Can't see it if it's tight. Yeah. Starve the beast. All right, gang. All now right, it's time to, to start basis, voting on these bad boys. They the were stakes, fucking good. This we? is fun. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> it went from chat went from a zero to a hundred real quick. It sure did. Ah, oh, these are all so good. Um, okay, that's definitely my number one. Uh, this one. And this one just for the sheer audacity. Good. Very few people actually use the colors. What are you all no, voting really, for? That's half your time. Okay, red and cheese you're gonna have to vote. Howdy, James Cyrus. Alana the penguin, I'm wearing the Coke shirt and I'm eating cheesecake. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, cheesable, I'm sorry. Oh, oh sorry, clothes. It was too normal for people, apparently. Not even close. Sorry, bone away. Boner belt is pretty good. good job. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it. That was my top one. Then boner belt was second, and my third one was not this one. Close, but no cigar. 
This is my third one. Yep. <laughs> Perfectly funded. This is my one. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, too bad. That's it. Me one congratulations. Again. You clearly have the gift of invention. God now dang. Now some bad news. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. God damn yeah, me! Back. Sorry. But that was pretty good though. See ya. Okay. Jeez. At least stupid. Um. All right. Let's do this. Um, and that's money for you. Okay, should we do one more? I think we'll do one more. Okay, so same as last time. I'm gonna let that filter out. Disconnect everybody from the from the server, and then I'm gonna get back in myself first. Um. And then put in my code. I have right. a mint tea that's half full for the optimist, a half empty mocha latte for the pessimist, and a blueberry scone representing isolation for the surrealist. Okay, cool. That's very funny. Um, so now we are going to go back to the stream, and you guys are all going to get to be able to put in the code and everything. Okay, everybody ready? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Patently stupid. Now we all know exactly how the game's working. Well, unless this is the very first time you showed up and started the round. Then it's a little trickier. Hey, Turkey King and Mayor back and Nick Knack. Cold brew for Anthony. Cold brew for Anthony. Okay, so May, you better not win again. Okay, waiting for the audience to join. So if you want to join, Go to jackbox.tv and put in the room code VZLT. And Marpec will be putting it in chat every now and then. Thank you, Marpec. So as long as the audience is in, a lot of people in already. Okay. There's still a chance to join. You can still enter the stuff as this goes on. I just want to get past the intro. So you can still join as the game is being played. Hello. Welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. We've got a packed room of eight. But more importantly, this room is packed with future millionaires. Great. Yeah, May is going to win this again, aren't they? Beavers. Okay, but no, we're going to fight back against the May. Inventing. No more, May. Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do a little market research. Okay. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in So, same as before. Else. Can I just skip and these? We know what we're doing now. You've created a problem. Now, your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So, let's get to it. I'm pulling my mustache hairs. Um, all right. So, we got our stuff. Okay, I'm in. Gazzy, thank you. Love the live streams. Thank you, buddy. DKS the Wanderer. Can't stay to watch right now. Keep up the great work, Jackie Boy. I will try. Thank you so much. That's half your time. That's half your time. So now we're just waiting for everyone to put their stuff in. Oh, come on. Oh, we have two M's. Which one is me? Jack, you can't twirl your mustache. You can if I want. <laughs> Rigged. 
I don't know how the same people keep getting in. TikTok. Time or how they put their stuff out. in so fast. All right, almost there. Oh, everybody's in. Okay. Cool. All right, time to start making some stuff. Now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. Simply pick the one you want to solve. Okay. The ones I got were not that great. No hurry, but that's half your time. May is the blue one? Okay. Fantastic. Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is when ideas become reality, using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. Got it, got it. Yes, yes, we know. Can we skip? And it never hurts to use a little color. Um, okay. I don't have a brain for this. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of something funny. Okay. Um that's half your time. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I can't draw with this. My fingers are too fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever, it's done. Is this the only game done. in Jackbox 5? No, it's just the funnest one, I think. Oh man, the game crashed. Oh, that sucks. Boo! Oh man, that blows. Well, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. You can't have it every way, forever. All right. Well, I was going to end the stream after that round anyway. Because um, it's getting late here. And I still have some more work to do. But I'm really glad that I did this. I'm really glad that we got to hang out and chat and just have fun all together. Um... I'll be back again to do more of these. these. These are always super fun. The Jackbox games are just hilarious. and Maybe sometime I can get some friends in, but if not, it was just fun playing with you guys, at least. I missed hanging out, and I missed playing some stuff together. Uh, or we might even try out some of the other games, or some of the other Jackbox games. and Not just Jackbox 5, but that was just the newest one, so I thought it'd be fun to play. Um, but thanks for being part of the stream. And also, thank you for all your lovely questions. Um, and also, I, I, I was doing this to try and talk about Cloak a little bit more as well, so I'm glad that we got to do that. And again, if you want to get some Cloak stuff, you can go to the link at the top of the description, thecloakbrand.com. And you can also go to Cloak Brand on Instagram to follow there for all the updates, and you can also leave us feedback and stuff there. But thank you guys for just hanging out and being part of my, my day and my routine. Um, I'm going to go off and do some more work now, but... It was lovely, and thank you everyone who joined as a member, and everybody who gave super chat and everything. That's super, super sweet of you guys. You you don't have to do that, but I, I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys had a fun time. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them, but that's just the nature of the beast when there's so many of them. But I'll be back again soon, and we'll, we'll play some more games. But thanks, guys. I hope you have a good rest of your night or day or whatever time period you're in right now, but I'll see you guys next time.